Here comes the play from outside, coming in. I don't know. We got a phone ringing up here somewhere. Not yeah. sure whose it is. Mine. Mine. Oh. I'm trying to get a hold of the son. <laughs> he's, he's to, I got you. Okay. Hey, we're lined up in the I formation again. Caden Jones. Uh oh. Another start penalty. Another flags. Another flags. False start. So back us up five more yards. So let's try extra point from the. Uh, why don't we try kicking one the, just for Yeah, the I was about to say we might as well go ahead and kick it. Put Bigfoot in there and let him. Let him boot it. <laughs> Sober honest will boot it. Don't worry. Yeah. He's got a strong leg. So here we are, 13 yard line now. Hey, we got four minutes and 32 seconds left in the first quarter. We are uh, looking at 12 to zero. Monterey's leading. What was that last hole? Offside. Offside. Offside penalty. We're back in the shotgun formation now. One other light looks like a running back in the backfield. Yeah, we're four wide this Ball time. Ball snap. We're looking for pass. We're going up high to Caden Pass Jones. interference. Pass, pass interference. interference. There we go. In the Number end zone. Seven over there. That's yeah. right. So that'll put the ball on the one-yard line for another try. They were looking at the back corner there for Caden Jones to be able to get it. I mean, he was wearing he was wearing that defensive back like a glove right there. I think so. I mean, there was no way he could have even got the ball. He pushed him out of bounds. He was he was on his back. I thought Caden changed uniform colors there for a minute. He yeah. was uh, couldn't he even was see an awful lot of gray. Couldn't even see him. That's right. Pass interference against the Blue Devils. Well, the penalty goes our way. Well, they put it on two. I thought it'd be on the one-yard line, but half the distance, half the distance to the goal, and they haven't moved the ball. We were on the seven, seven or eight-yard line just then. Yeah. Well, we we got a penalty before. It was at the 13, so we moved back. <laughs> oh me. I know. That's crazy. Comedy of errors here. We're back in the shotgun formation. Number four, Mason Bowman in the backfield with uh, Matthew Montgomery. Oh, they fumble the ball, and they got it. Harriman recovers it. So it's dead as that. No it don't count as a fumble in the stats. It's just a incomplete try on a, on a two-point conversion. Well, we're looking at kicking off again here in just a second. We've uh, had, what, three possessions so far? Yeah, scored, scored twice, no extra points, no right. kicks. Uh, so, um, it's 432 in the first quarter, and we're up 12 to nothing. Barry's in talk in the background talking to son Michael. He's not. He's not. He's one of the coaches for the Wildcats, but he's not here this week. So everybody, keep him in your prayers. We definitely will. Hey, listen. While we uh, got a short break here, I just want to remind you we've got some fantastic sponsors. Volunteer Electric Cooperative, our pregame show sponsor. Hey, it's more than 80 years of operation. The VEC has grown and prospered, bringing prosperity to the region it serves. Volunteer Electric Co-op. Hey, powered by the people you know. All right, we're so Baranis is lining the ball up at the 40-yard uh, line. Kick it off again. I want to see him put one back here at the end zone and let's go down here and make a stop. Uh, I mean, he's punted once and kicked off once, and both of them were great kicks. Yes, they were. He's backed up five yards, waiting on the whistle. Monterey's ready to go. They're excited. And it kicks up, and it's, it's another, another, another onside punch. kid. Yep. Uh, he they got catch the kid at the 45-yard line. That looked like Logan Davis just stood him up there and just – yeah, he, put him down. he wasn't getting down the field at no, that all. Was, that. that was 10, Carter Charlton that did that. That was, that was a great tackle. We still good on, on line there, Rick? Like we, like, like we talked about earlier, we apologize for all the technical difficulties. There's something up here in the, in the air in Harriman that just messes with everything. Yeah. Michael, that son of mine, he's uh, listening in tonight from the hospital bed, and he, that's he was just uh, he lost connection. He he just called in. That's why he called in. Yeah, hey, that's awesome. Hey, we're glad he's actually uh, getting in touch with you, man. Here we go. Harriman's about to snap the ball. Looking for a long pass right in the middle in an open gap. There's nobody there with him. He found a soft spot in the zone there. He did find a soft spot. They only had uh, four receivers out just then. And uh, one snuck in there to a spot nobody was at. Hey, listen, we talked about some 6'2", uh, 6'3", six, 6'8", six, six, something about that. Looks like number 14 hadn't ventured on the field for them. He is a big, tall, lanky yeah. kid. So uh, maybe he's injured or not playing for some reason tonight. Yeah. But 
Monterey lines back up. They're about to snap here in just a second. Or they're, they're in a full, uh, basically a five wide here, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, almost an interception yeah, there by close. number four, yes. Mason Bowman. Good job on Mason. Yeah, that was a bad pass overthrow, and, and he was in the right spot, just couldn't make the play. When that happens, the kids beat themselves up, but, you know, did everything he could. Just, oh, yeah. Just couldn't make the play. You know what happens. Yeah, we're playing close to the line on this side over here. I'm surprised we didn't get off a uh, – Offside penalty just yeah. then. It looked like Caden Jones ran up to the line real quick, then back pe backpedaled three times, and he got out of there yeah. quick. And we're third, third and two here in the shotgun. They're snapping Still. the ball. It's good. Looks like another pass. He throws the ball. Open kid number seven gets down the field for what 14 yards. It looks yeah. like big pickup right there. Yeah. There. Another soft spot in the zone. We got to do a little quarterback or cornerback work right here. Yeah, they're um, they're pretty efficient with the pass on yeah, this that, drive. That was Cayman Campbell. He was open the last time we said there was a soft spot in the defense, and uh, he picks up quite a few yards there. Yeah, that that was a little crossing play that may have, you know, confused our our defense defensive backs a little bit. It was hard to tell, but they the wide receivers crossed, and he found the on the inside opening. Ball snapped again for Harriman. He rears back to throw the ball. Now, they haven't ran much. Oh, fumble right there. They going to call that? Nope. He said he was down. It looked like Incom an incomplete, incomplete pass. pass. Yeah, it looked yeah. like he came out. I got a little excited. I just wanted to see it come out again. And yeah. <laughs> Our boys have been hitting hard. And like I said before, they're fighting, you know, trying to strip the ball when they get a hold of them and don't take them down immediately. Number four for Harriman runs the play back in. Goodness gracious, it's hotter and I don't, I don't, I don't know what up here. Sweating. Yeah, get, I, get. I don't know that it's got below 90 up here in no. the box tonight. Looks like we're crowding the line right here. We're looking for another pass from Harriman. He throws the bomb, but it's a bad throw, and Caden Jones is entered. Nope, they drop it. Pass complete. Oh, man, Caden Jones right out of his hands, and another kid just. That's, that's the big tall receiver. Yeah. Caden Jones had perfect coverage. He did. He I was mean, right in front of him. He, he couldn't have played that ball no better, but that guy just took it away yeah, from him. Yeah, he just stripped it out of his hands. You know, Caden, Caden made a play on the ball, but that guy was just taller, and he basically took it away from him over his head, looked like. So it's now 12-6. to 6. We're still in the first quarter here. 2.52 to go. That was Riley Moore catching it for uh, Harriman. I've not seen him, I don't think, on the field yet. That's the first time I've really noticed he was out there. Yeah. Maybe I just missed him, but um, they've not been on the field for a whole lot of offense yet. I, I've so. not seen no 6'8 guy. Uh oh, they fumble. Fumbled. Yeah, they fumble. They've got the – There comes Carter Charlton in that wraps him up, man. That kid is ready to play. He's got a motor, don't he? He don't quit. Yeah. Hey, guys, can I break in just a second here? Yes, yes sir. I think we've got everything under control. I've been I've been behind the scenes trying to do some things over here. We got a good live stream, good strong stream now, and looks like we found a plug in maybe that that will work. So uh, we, we, I'll get back out and let you guys have it. All right. Thanks, Rick, for all your hard work. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you, Rick. Hey, you're welcome, guy. Yeah, considering uh, I don't really do anything to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. I set up a camera that we're not even using. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, it's it's doing a great job covering the scoreboard. <laughs> that is exactly you, you've right. You've got it in great focus, great quality. You you did a great job, Wayne. Uh, hey, video production's your thing, brother. That's yeah. good. So we're the, the uh, two point conversion was no good. So it's n it's still twelve to six. Harriman's getting ready to kick the ball off to Monterey, and looks like we got Aaron or uh, Aaron Bowman. That's that's Mason's dad. I went to school with him. That's funny. Mason Bowman. Mason Bowman and, and Mr. Jones back there. Caden. Yeah. Kaden. Downtown Jones. And that's right. Uh, he earned that name in basketball last year, I, I believe. So, uh, he he still is using it. That's a good thing. We like that. Yeah, they're back at the 15-yard line waiting to receive the ball. A quick step for Harriman. They've had eight plays on offense, one run. One run. So, they're going to throw it. Long that's kick down kick, the field. Looks kick. like Mason Bowman, Bowman gets the, the ball. 
He's hey. coming up the field. He's in the middle. Oh, he's going to get caught uh, about the 30-yard line. They're just riding him down. 31, 32. Uh, There's the uh, – there is uh, Carter Charlton laying some kid out on the ground. <laughs> I think he knocked him 10 yards back just then. Yeah, that's, second. that's the second time. Look, that's they shake hands. That wasn't anything personal. It's just the way it goes sometimes. It's just football. Yeah, it's just football, but, man, he put a lick on that yeah. <laughs> he, he ain't playing around tonight, boy. No. That, that's the same way he did last week. He just, I mean, he was in the backfield. and just We got uh, IDK Cafe guys that came on board. Uh, player of the game. Yeah. So we uh, between us five, we're gonna come up with the player of the game, and they're sponsoring it. So get a Wildcat Burger combo free. Hey, hey, look at there, number four gets the ball again. Bowman's up the field, hopping, scooting. No, he he got uh, 11 yards on that carry. It looks like I caught him by the shoelaces. Look like. But listen, that kid can move up the field. Did, did you see that move? He, he kind of hurtled that kid. He did. I mean, that was impressive. Well, he stopped started back here yeah. about five yards into the run. He stopped and then changed directions and took off again. Yeah. We it, saw that last year when he was a freshman. Yeah, his motor just keeps running. He's yeah. another one that you can't stop. He's elusive for sure. Let's see. We've gone, instead of being under, taking the snap under the center, we're back to uh, shotgunning it. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a two wide. Montgomery takes the ball, hands off to Bowman again. He yeah, gets he, caught. Oh. He's still fighting for a couple of yards. He's going to get a good few. Night. He got five yards. Yeah, he's, gonna be five yard. he's not. Hey, they caught him right on the line. He carries him for got five a flag, yards. Late flag he, in. he was two yards. He was stopped two yards in the backfield. He just keep kept fighting and kept fighting. Got a flag, flag on the ground right I, where the ball ended up. Let's see what happens here. Either face mask or could it be that strange call they had where the line was pushing? Remember that at the first yeah. first uh, junior high game. It was like, what in the world are they calling that for? Hey, Bowman takes the, the sideline, takes his helmet off. He's out for just a minute. Hey, that's against Harriman. That's, that's a face mask. So they're moving the ball 15 all. 15 yards. That's going to put them on the, what, 34? 15 yards. Almost, yeah. yeah, pushing 35 yards there. But, uh, hey, we'll take that penalty. That back judge is the way he was walking off. I thought he had the ball. And I'm like, good night. He's going to put down the 15-yard line. <laughs> he was moving quick. Yeah. Hey, just like that Bowman kid, man. He no was moving kidding. quick. Oh, oh, snap again. Fire on it. Oh. Uh-oh. We fall on it. It's a fumble in the backfield. We fall back on it. Who's that getting on the ball right there? Number eight. All red. Michael All red. All red. All red protecting yeah. them there. Some of that's going to be. Uh, no, that's about a 10-yard loss, looks like. Nine-yard loss. Well, with Matthew being new this year at the yeah. quarterback spot, I kind of expect some of that stuff. Yeah, it uh, happens. It, it does, and if it's going to happen even with somebody who's a senior, you're right, going to see some right. of that happen. So uh, I, I, uh, he's performing well. We like what we see out of him. I, I mean, he he's he commands a huddle. He's 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 got command of the team, and that's what you expect out of your quarterback, whether he's young or a senior. Right. He's checking the defense. About to take the snap again. He's got a lot of pressure. He throws the ball. Oh no. Away. Threw in between a couple of Monterey Wildcats there on the field. Yeah, uh, one of the only weaknesses I see with him, and, and when he has to roll out like that and change how he's going to throw the ball, he's a little off target. But that's something he'll work on as he gets older and and, and, and learn I, from and adjust and, and make those throws. Yeah, and I think that's learning how to roll, set your feet, yeah, throw the ball. exactly. And you've got to be able to make that snap decision of, do I wing it for five yards or do I try to zip it for 25, yeah. you know? And I think that's where he's at right now. You can see the progression of him playing. Yeah. Um, he looks really good. I, I'm I'm excited for him. Uh-oh, somebody in the backfield. Screen play. That oh. Stop right away. Yeah. They were ready for that one. So it's going to oh, be the fourth and long right here. Fourth and 19 looks like. Michael Allred taken down immediately by number 60, Dylan Coca. They covered number that six. well. Yeah, that was. I'm oh, sorry. Number six is their leading uh, tackler so far. That's his third tackle. Yeah. So, so it looks like we're uh, we're in a punt formation again here. So Baronis is back. He takes the snap and punts. Another good punt. A high high punt. Hits about the 12-yard line, flips back. Oh, it rolls backwards on the Cats. They pick it up right at the 10-yard line. That's a good good punt, good yeah. punt. 
Took a little backwards bounce on us for a few yards, but that's all right. Yeah. We're down there to cover it. I don't think they want to try to run the ball that well. No, they've only run one run play so far. They've, you know, unfortunately, until Monterey stops a pass, they're not going to run the ball. Right. Yeah, you've got to be able to do that. Uh, that's where we talked earlier, I guess, pregame that, about our cornerbacks and safety. They've got to be able to cover guys man-to-man. -man. You know, they're, they're doing a lot of switching when they're – you know, a lot of crossing, oh, yeah. crossing plays and stuff. So either we got to play a man or, or tighten up the zone. That's about the only way you can do it. Big number 14 for them uh, has come back in. He's on the far side. He's running up the field. They're looking for a short interception. Pass. Interception. interception. Touchdown. 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 Interception. Sitting right there in the middle saying, I'll take that short pass. Runs it all the way in. Boom. Steam runner. Yeah. He, he read that perfectly because that's the same play they ran the play before. Correct. Trying to hit that number seven for yeah. the short yardage and, the, you know, picking up five, six yards at a time. And that's what they did. It was the same crossing play. Oh, he yeah. came, he came inside and. And so Baranis read it perfect. I mean, what, he, a, what a linebacker spot that kid plays, man. Yeah, I mean, he he caught it and he was gone. They wouldn't nobody catching him. And he was on the he was on the dead run when he caught it. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it did not look like he stopped. No, he, his it, feet were moving the whole time. He read it and he he was gone. Hey, we got four wide out, one in the backfield. Takes the snap. Matthew Montgomery hands off. Looks like oh. running all the way. He's getting the conversion. He got in. Yeah. That is a two-point conversion for the Wildcats for Mr. Bowman. That'll make it 20 to 6. Yeah, end of the first quarter, 20 to 6. Monterey takes the lead. That's a great start for Monterey right there. We've already forced two turnovers in the first quarter. You know, that's awesome. That, that's that's the way to start a game right there. Let me hey, take listen. Him. Yeah, go we, ahead. we got it. Go ahead. I got to find them first, so go ahead if you got them. Hey, it's the tree guys on our first down sponsor tonight. So, hey, if you got trees in the way, you better call the tree guys. They've got saws. Over 10 years' experience. They're licensed, insured, 24-hour emergency services available. Call them today, 931-267-6191. That's 931-267-6191. Hey, we are noticing we got a few followers here uh, on YouTube tonight. We're up to a few uh, listening. We appreciate you guys. If you have questions, make sure you hit that online chat. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, JJ and I are, are trying to do the best we can keeping up with some of the other problems we've got going on. But, man, it's a it's a fun game to watch. Currently. Yeah, th this is this good. And you know, he's talking about them tree guys. That's our own Barry Henry over here. Hey, Barry. Oh, uh, man. Uh, we cut down a lot of trees. sweaty, Barry. Yeah, Barry, you've been working on trees yeah. right now? I feel like I just now got through cutting one up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But, you uh, know, it, it, it takes sponsors like Barry to make this happen. Hey, so, Barry, we appreciate you. Hey, yes, guys, sir. you don't know, you don't need to go to the beach for, for warm, sunny weather. We we got it right here, right there. Yeah, well, we hey, did, travel 40 miles out of Monterey, and there you are. We got, uh, we got a football update here looks like joe burns is beating houston county seven to six so that's the only update we got right now hey listen we uh i know we've got coach west listening to a ball game tonight we do appreciate him listening uh we look forward to uh, another season of basketball with him but uh, thanks for listening to us tonight looks like monterey's about to kick off here again just in a second we got to reset the clock we're all kind of in hold mode, I think, out here yeah. for the second. Yeah, the referee's saying to reset the clock. It's still showing double zero, so. Somebody's getting There we out. go. Now we're at 12 minutes. 12 minutes on the. And so, Baranis is lined up to. Uh, they've only got one back guy really back. There's one guy up a little bit, but. So, Baranis gets ready. They're about to blow the whistle for him. And the kick is up. Oh, it's a hard line drive. Out of bounds. Man, That's going to be a penalty. Yeah, went out about the 34-yard line or so. That was a straight shot out. Yeah, he was trying to – I think he was trying to hit it off one of their players or something. But just a little off target. That's all right. We'll get another chance, I'm sure, here in just a little while. Yeah, I don't know where they're going to – did they mark it from where it went out of bounds? Is that where the penalty starts? Well, they get on – so they just get on on the, on the run 35. And they're on the 34 okay. yard line currently. It looks like. Oh, nope, they're giving a five yard penalty. They're going to start on their 39. 
Well, that ain't too bad. Of a yeah, still not bad even no. with the penalty. We can, we can handle that. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're still starting, you know, on their own side of the field. So that's a positive for Monterey. Rather, you know, what happened happened, but it's still. Yeah, our defensive line down there is pacing back and forth, talking to each other. I think yeah. they're ready. They're ready they're to hit somebody tonight. Eight. Taking a long snap in the back. They're looking for a little short pass out. Number seven out oh. there again, still wide open. That's about the third or fourth time so far tonight he's found a soft spot in the defense. That's Chandler Bowden over there on the coverage. He was, I think he was the closest guy to it. He was. Yeah. They were, we're getting some pressure on the quarterback now. We got some big old boys in there. So That was only his second incomplete pass. So second incomplete pass of the game. Wow. Well, the third with the interception, right? Yes, with so. the interception. Well, really two because he completed one to our team. So. That's right. Harriman's lined up four out, taking the shotgun and the handoff, which is extremely odd. That's only the second time tonight they've ran the ball. He got, what, two yards, two yards, three yards out of good it? Good defense. Yeah. It's almost a dare. We dare you to run it. Yeah. We will see what you can do running the ball. They're, well, Denver Smith going out. Grant Hoover came in to replace him. You got looks like Josiah Maddox playing nose guard here. And you got Logan Davis on this side and Carter Charlton right there. Um, hey, Josiah was a good pickup this year for Monterey. He's going to do well, I think. Um, he's just a junior. He's got another year to play long pass. Oh. Almost intercepted again. There was about four players in the line that could have caught that. Yes. Number six for uh, Harriman takes a shot at number 12 on Monterey's team. I'm not sure what that was about. He didn't like getting touched, I don't think. Well, number six has been doing that all night. Yeah. That's the same kid that had the problems down here on the far side of the field earlier. Yeah. He's not been right since the pancake. Yeah, yeah he, oh. he got pancake for 30 yards earlier. So, but it Could be a haircut issue if you ask me, but yeah. I'm not sure. Fourth down. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to punt. We got two guys let's back. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. We got short punt. Short punt. Yeah, it's it's taking a backwards bounce. So Monterey got the ball at the 39 yard line. 39. So that's about what a 20 yard punt. Yeah, that that wasn't real strong. I was thinking it might be going a little farther than that, yeah. but it took a Monterey bounce though. So 19 yards. 19 yard punt. Wayne Brown is, is – He's on it, man. He's I'm on it tonight. You. He and Barry have got us covered down there on the end. Well, Wayne ain't having to operate the camera tonight, so we had to put him work <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Looks like we got uh, four wide out. We're in the shotgun formation with one in the backfield. Bowman gets the ball again. He's still chugging. Oh. Look at this. That is Look not that giving up. Effort. That's oh, – What That's a second effort. Five seven, or six seven, yards seven, right post there. Close to seven yards, six yards. Yeah. No. It, you can't arm tackle that kid. He's too strong. So. We good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Awesome. All good right. deal. We were just checking our live chat. Um, I think we may have all the kinks. We ain't went offline in a while, so. Let's don't jinx it now, no, guys. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I hope we're good. So here we are. We're lined up in the four wide again. Well, Rick McNeil's online ca catching questions and trying to talk to people. If you got a question, please pepper him with it. Let him know. Uh oh, Man. here goes Montgomery. Matthew Montgomery, Montgomery. Oh, with the first down. He got he got eight yards probably easy out Scott, of that. Scott Coach Hughes is fired up over there. Did you see him? Yeah, he's jumping out of the. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, the reason why he's fired up. Logan put his shoulder down and just run over one of them kids over there. Yeah. To get two or three more yards. I mean, he. He just Matthew uh, McGunn. What did I say? Logan. It's all yeah. right. Matthew. Yeah. Matthew lowered his shoulder and just run him over. Yeah. That's I'm, impressive. I like that out of a quarterback. I'm calling kids not their brother, their dad, and, you know. <laughs> it, it's somebody in that family. All right. Hey, we got downtown Jones here closest to us. We got four spread out. We got one in the backfield again. We're going in the shotgun formation. About to snap. Boom, here we go. It's a handoff. Bowman gets it again, twisting and rolling. Look at that. He got 
Two yards, maybe three yards. Yeah, it looked about three yards. I was watching the action on the other side of the field. Yeah, they were they were popping yeah, each Grant, other. Grant Hoover was. I mean, he's blocking. <laughs> he I mean, wants to hit. Even even thirty seconds after play, he's still blocking. Oh yeah. Well, they, these kids are playing hard. So you know, the the scoreboard proves it. They're they're playing a good game so far. Good game plan by Coach Hughes. The kids are executing. The defense have been outstanding, except. You know, the one drive, which they gave up the touchdown, but they for forced a punt after that, after Second they intercepted. Eight. Is that right? Second and eight? Second and eight. Gotcha. They're changing the scoreboard. I couldn't keep up with it. Here's a pass to Jones. Oh, oh. dropped it. It's a little high. A little, yeah. high. Yeah. little high, but that's all right. He had some fingertips on it. He'll catch the next one. You know, that, that may have been a blessing right there because if he came down with that, that, that defensive back was getting ready to pop him, I yeah. think. He was right on top of him. Awesome. Hey, we appreciate you, uh, the viewers, listening out there and answering, uh, asking questions. Uh, if you've got something important, please uh, buzz us in there. Rick's taking care of that for us. He's watching it. Um, and we've got a little pause in action, not much. No timeouts or anything. Here comes Matthew. Looks like they're changing the play again. They're calling now we've got time, timeout. Timeout Monterey Wildcats. Timeout. The score is 20-6 to six right. with 919 left in the second quarter. You know, Neil, I'm proud to have you on board because – you take, a a lot of, you take a lot of pressure <laughs> off of me. That's so, all right. So let's talk about IDK Cafe, who are, are our newest sponsor. And a good thing, they're they're sponsoring our player of the game. They're, they have a new product when they open back up called the Wildcat Burger. And they will get, the player of the game will get a combo. And it says, come by and check out our, their daily specials, as well as their newest menu on the Wildcat Burger. Go and see them today at the corner of Commercial Avenue Chestnut. Or give them a call today, 931-564-0214. 931-564-0214. That's a IDK Cafe who sponsors our player of the game. Our player of the game last week was Carter Charlton. We call his name a lot because he's all over the place. Well, he's a big kid. He's, yeah. what, 6'3", probably yeah. 200 pounds, 215 maybe. Yeah. And he I, runs well. He hits hard. And I love he has a mullet. That's just awesome. Oh, he put that out earlier today. I think Sober Honest actually gave him the shave up the side of his head. I don't know if you know that. Sober <laughs> I didn't Honest see that. has been giving haircuts lately. That's funny. So, so uh, not only is a, is he a, a jackhammer, he's a barber. Yes. Maybe that's what we should start calling him, the barber. Three wide outs in the shotgun formation again. Not as many wide out looking here. A good, Matthew good. rolls out, stops, throws the ball. Oh, oh. right through his hands. Incomplete. He had good time to yeah, set his feet. I mean. Is that Chandler Bowden again that missed yeah. that one? It was a little low, but uh, still still catchable, I think. But we're fourth and eight now. It looks like we're lined up in a, in a punt formation again here. Sober Honest is in the backfield. I'm sure he's going to put one down there towards the end zone. Yeah, I mean, he's kicking from the 44-yard the line. So Here comes Caden Jones down here on our end. He's going to try to run down there and make a tackle right here. Let's see if he slips past this guy. Oh, oh great high, punt, great punt. punt. Picks it up about the 15, and there's two Wildcats on him. Make that three. Looks like That's a great tackle. number 55, 55. makes the tackle. That's that Hudson was, Thompson. Hudson Thompson. Made a great tackle. That's exactly right, open field tackle. Yeah. But uh, there's about a 10-yard gain on, on the – on the punt return there. The mullet's down there. I think that's Charlton's new name. We're going to have to yeah. start calling him the mullet. He was yeah. right down in the mix of that. There yeah. he is again. Yeah. Charlton. Yeah, Carter's mullet. I think we have to call him mullet from now yeah. on. Yeah. That seems like a good nickname. What do y'all think out there in uh, YouTube land? Think that should be a good nickname? Here he is playing the end. He's got look at this. He's getting held right there. Yeah. They're holding him. They don't throw the flag. He's there. Yeah. flag. There's finally a flag. Yeah, but that's not over here at the play. He was holding. The mullet got held up about, yeah. about five or ten yards there. Looked like a lineman pulled, had a hold of his shoulder pass. Yeah. He couldn't get out. He was turned around. Yeah. Uh, we'll figure out what this flag is for. Oh, yeah. It didn't look like it was for holding, though. No, it's. Backing them up. Yeah, holding. They finally called it. They got quite a few penalties. Bunch of them. 
Yeah, the mullet wasn't too happy about that. He's throwing his hands up at the referee. He's got one open hand. He's yeah. waving him down He's like, like hey, look, look. Hey, look at me. Got a hold of me. So now it backed up to about the 12-yard line, looks like. That's their seventh penalty. First down in Oliver Springs. First down in Oliver Springs. There we yeah. go, yeah. I don't, <laughs> Maybe closer to Brushy Mountain. I'm not sure. Yeah, Rockwood. Rockwood's that way. Yeah. Well, whichever way it is. Yeah. That'd be Brushy Mountain. Yeah. So now it's Here um, comes Harriman to the line. Second and. we got four linemen. Looks like uh, three linebackers, a couple of wing guys out there. Another pass to a soft spot. Number seven picks up the ball again. They, yeah, yeah, that was a good stop. On you know they they played that well. If if you're gonna play a soft zone like that, just keep everything underneath. Yeah, number seven, Cayman Campbell. Man, he's picked up what four or five passes for yeah, receptions that's already. What it, that's what it looks like. He's he's caught the ball pretty well, and that was about the first time that that they've stopped him. You know, right? Without a big game. But he, all he's doing is flashing out to the flat, and he's just oh, throwing yeah. it to him. Five it's, and out kind of yeah, thing. Trying it's to just get a simple simple little pass play. Harriman's about to snap the ball again. They're going from the shotgun. They pick up the ball. They're looking to pass again. He throws a long, oh, hard one. It, oh, oh, number six. Yeah, no, no it's oh, a flag. It's, he didn't reach in. Yeah, look at but, him. Number six has had a problem all night, it looks yeah. like. Yeah, he's he's got his feelings hurt tonight, I believe. Well, you know, I'd probably have my feelings hurt if a sophomore covered me that well. As yeah, I, that was that's great. Eli Sailors, man. He played heck of a defensive yeah, job on just, that kid. Just, just the same way, just the way, same way Downtown Jones did on that on the touchdown pass. Yes, sir. I mean, it was both of them had great coverage, but that ball was underthrown, and that that wide receiver really was the defensive back on that play because he, he was trying to be. Yeah, he was it trying was to prevent. He was trying to prevent Sailors from catching it. But we got a five we got yard penalty. Five, yard penalty. Another five yards. Get back to Mupp, looks like. Did you see what it was for? No, it's no five it. yard. It's, it had to been offsides. Or because number six something is. Small face mask, a small variety or something. Yeah, it's probably because number six has got his feelings hurt. Somebody peed in his Cheerios this morning. Hey, we're up to uh, 28 viewers there, or listeners on uh, YouTube right now. We appreciate it, guys. We hope that uh, you'll tell your friends more about Monterey Sports Network. We'd love to. Uh, Quarterback games. Keeper. Yeah, the keeper, he uh, scrambled out. Hey, he just got smothered up right there. That was great coverage. Great, great coverage. Who, Who is that? 12 that made that tackle just then. Is that right? Yeah. He, he wasn't going to take a hit. Byron Borjas. He wasn't going to take a hit at all, was he? No. He, no. he fell on the ground. Yeah, he, he, he kind of wimped out a little bit there, didn't he? You saw who was in pursuit from the opposite high side of the field. The, the mullet. The mullet was the in mullet pursuit. Was chasing him down, yeah. That is pretty funny. The, the mullet. The mullet. Yeah, it's not a mullet. It's the mullet. So we're back in the punt formation again. We got um, looks like Chandler Bowden and, and downtown, uh, Jones. downtown Jones back. Here's the punt. That's a looks decent like punt. Bowden. Nope, going to Jones right here. Oh, He's loose. getting it. Uh-oh, oh, look oh. at him. He's slipping. Hold on. Yeah, he just holding on. They spun him around about 18 times before he fell down, it looked like. Yep, we're at our, what, 46-yard line? Yeah. 47 yard line. You remember when we as kids we played that ring around the rosy? <laughs> that, look, that looked like why they was playing right there. Yeah, they were just turning in circles, square dancing there. Hey, we got six minutes and 47 seconds left uh, in the second quarter, right before halftime. It's 20 to six Monterey leads. Monterey's got the ball on the 47 yard line. They're on 47, so they got 53 yards to pay dirt here. Here comes Matthew Montgomery with a play. Yeah, we're still up two touchdowns. It's so hot up here, my glasses will not quit fogging up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not the wind. Yeah, you're, yeah. there's not much air stirring here now, tonight. In York, we had a window that fogged up, and we had to look through the bottom of the glass. Yeah, here's the pitch out, out to Bowman. Bowman. He's around the corner. He's up. That's, first that's down. a first down for 12 yards, it looks like. Yeah, that, that was some great blocking right there. Clean blocking. They didn't hold. They didn't turn nobody. It's just good blocking. Listen, Mason Bowman's going to run the ball well again this year. Yeah, I mean, if, te if teams can't figure out, they got to kind of look at that kid. Yeah, something's wrong. And then, and then you got number eight in the backfield. Yeah. Well, yeah, and they can also put Jones Michael, in there. Michael, Michael Allred. Allred can run the ball. He's done that a couple of times down here on the other end earlier. 
they ran a couple um, reverses last week that that gained some yards. Yeah, yeah. So they have that in their arsenal too. So we're in a three wide set, four wide looks like. Charlton's in there. The mullets come back the, on the field. Uh, they're they're now, calling timeouts. That's what they're doing. Monterey. Coach yeah. Hughes, Coach Hughes wasn't happy with what he saw, so he no he, he was fussing just then. Yeah. Well, we need to do another sponsor. Mm, yeah, another sponsor. So, let's talk about A1 Auto Repair. Expert auto repair. Everything from battery exchanges to complicated engine repair. Located at 12, 636 Monterey Highway 70 or give them a call at 931-839-3013. 931-839-3013. Uh, who works over there, Barry, at A1 Auto Repair? Tim, Kurt, and Bill. Yeah. Good fellas. Good fellas. Yeah, they, they do a lot of work, and, and sometimes you may have to wait a little bit, but it's worth the wait because they do good quality work, and it's, it's worth what you pay them. So go visit them at A1 Auto Repair. Hey, listen, we couldn't do it without our sponsors tonight. We appreciate every one of them. Listen, we couldn't go by and, and get equipment and set up here and do what we do without them, so we do appreciate it. Yeah, well, they're invaluable. Obviously, like like uh, we, they just said, we're, we can't do it without them, so please – Patronize our, our sponsors and, and, and give them some business. Monterey comes right off the sideline, gets right on the line. They put the mullet, that big old kid's out here on the far yeah, end. Yeah, the mullet's on the on the on the wide the wide side of the field here. Second yeah. short. So it's still be a waste do. down right here. Yeah. And it it is. No, that's it's the middle. Not even right up that's, the middle. That's all red. Eight, that all red. All red picked up a good. What six, seven yards? Got a flag there? coming in, though. Guys, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I had to get in this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Come on in that, with us. I believe, I believe we got the uh, all the electrical stuff going our way. Yeah, it seems that way. Knock on wood. We got a, we got a holding. Uh, I don't know what happened. It was after the play number twenty from Monterey, number nine from Harriman. We're getting a little shoving match in the back. Offsetting penalties then. Personal foul. Personal foul against Monterey. Personal foul. Personal be foul be offset. Yeah, offset penalty. So replay the down. Well, it should be first down. Yeah, it should right? be first down. Yeah. It was after the play. It was after the play. So. Yeah. You can always tell who done it because you usually got two or three teammates following you around, uh, throwing their arms up, asking. Yeah, them. trying to what? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you, what you doing, man? So it's easy to see who it is. Number six for Harriman looks like he'd rather dance than play football tonight. Yeah. Maybe he's getting out of his funk he was in earlier. Yeah, he's not he, sure. He, he's been a little wimpy acting. He's in a bad mood. And so, we'll, be first down from the when, 39. When a lineman owns you the way he got owned earlier. That is so true. It's going to hurt your feelings a little bit. Here's number 21 on the wide outside for that's us. That's Dubois. Yeah. We got a Dubois. 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 Big home from the, the 49 all the way down to the 15. 11, 16-yard line. Yeah, 30, that's about 26 yards. Wow. That's a good run. Guys, I believe I could have run in that hole. Yeah. <laughs> I, li- I, work- I could have for a couple yards. Hey, I want to watch well, that's that. Me. We need to get him down there. I know. No, we don't. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna talk, I'm gonna talk to Coach Hughes about getting you a practice next. No, we, we don't. We don't need it. You guys, Barry or, or uh, Wayne or Sharon. So we're in a. We're like four wide outs here. Taking the shotgun, we're running That's the ball. Already, 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 already again. And That'll got a hole. That'd be a hole. Looks like a hold. Got another flag. I guess when you get a big hole, that might be sometimes it might be a hold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could be. Well, you see the other player kind of spin. You know that there's some jersey grabbing going on. So, it'll be, looks like it'd be second down maybe in, what, 16, 17 yards line or yards. Hold it on the walk-in. Uh-huh. 10, 10 yard yard penalty, foul. so it'd be. 10 yard penalty from the spot. That'll be back on the 23. Looks like about first and 16 maybe. Listen, you yeah, take holding penalties maybe. out of Monterey tonight, then, man, they, they're having an explosive game. Absolutely. I mean, you first take, drive we took a touchdown off the board because of holding. Yeah. But that's that's been primarily what we've been called yeah, back on absolutely. every time. So, you know, and, and, and the extracurricular activity, a couple penalties for that. I, I think it's just, you know, emotion, adrenaline. Yeah, just wanting to play. Wanting yeah. to have a game where they could play. Here's Allred again running for four yards maybe. Yeah, gained about four, five. Looks like the, the jackhammer's come back. No, jackhammer's sober on us. Right? yes. He, no, he's a sledgehammer guy. A sledgehammer. Yeah. Well, listen, he's a hammer. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> well, we said, we said sledgehammer, steamroller. 
So, I mean, he yeah. can also cut hair, by the way. Yeah, he's the, a big, he's a big he's guy. He's a barber. Yeah. We got Mason Mason Bowman back in here. I mean, here hey, comes Matthew Montgomery. Matthew Trotting Montgomery's on. in. Yep. So let's see what we've been lined up in a in a three or four wide this whole possession. Yes. So. Well, we've we've done that most of the game, really. Yeah. If you think about it. It's to be the only thing that's changed a lot is Twins shotgun on both formation. Sides, yeah, look at this. Fake in the middle oh. and through behind number through two. Behind. Yeah, Eli that's Eli Sailors. Sailors. He's the one that uh, yeah. stood up behind him. He did well earlier. Yeah, he, he tried to make a play, but it was just behind him. Yeah. Coach Hughes wasn't happy. I could see him. Guys, give a shout out to the Monterey faithful over there. Yeah, we, we have a good crowd that, that travel from Monterey all the way up here to. Uh, the cheer on our boys. And you know what? You can only social distance so much, but that's a pretty big crowd. Yeah. That's that's impressive. Yeah. Hey, we do appreciate fans coming out, uh, making the drive over. Got twins on the right and, and, and the single receiver on the left. Got one in the backfield with the quarterback. The pistol fake. fake. Hand off, looking in to the throw. middle, got, got, got him that time. Got, got him that time. That, does, that is Mr. Carter Charlton saying yeah, he will not go fighting. down. Look at the mullet. Mr. Mullet. Look at the mullet. It took two to knock him why, down. Why did they blow the whistle? He was still fighting. Yeah. Yeah, about the sixth, ain't he? Yeah. They, they, hung, they hung on him for, what, how many yards? How many yards? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of the same play. They just changed the receivers on the sides, and he hit him in stride, and – Looks he's like just, we're about he's just running. He wasn't slowing down. Yeah. So we get worried about four and two now. Got four minutes left in Fourth the and second two. quarter. Fourth and two from the eight yard line, looks like. If anybody's got a a uh, extra fan they want to loan us tonight, we'd take a little breeze up here. Caden in Jones in, inside. We got uh Oh, we got a timeout. Jones was in motion. They're calling timeout for the Wildcats. Wildcats had got, got one more break. left, don't we? Yeah. That's a smart timeout. No, that's the last timeout. That's it. That was a smart timeout to take because, you know, we're we're getting close to the end of the in the first half. And it's a, a, you know, this is a play that if Monterey scores a touchdown, they're going to be up by three scores. Yep. So, so you want to put it in the end zone. You, you want to put it in the end zone. You 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 go out and you set up in a formation and see what their defense is doing. You get a good read on what their defense is doing. So I have some scoring updates that some people may be interested in. Kermley County and Clay County are tied up at seven in the wow. second wow. quarter. Trousdale County up seven nothing on Gordonsville in the second quarter. And also Joe Burns is now losing twelve to seven to Houston County. Is Houston County a, a two A team or Yeah, I think so. Yeah. At least a two or three A maybe. Yeah. If well, Joe Burns is playing like that with him, that's pretty good. I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't mind seeing Gordons will take an L tonight. No. Uh, it sure would help us later. Yeah, I, I don't I don't yeah, care much for Gordonsville. They're playing Trousdale, though. Downtown Jones in motion. They're running the ball. Bowman up the there down. He in. was not Touchdown. touched. He was not the boy. Guys, they were nobody. Oh, got hold of him nowhere. One kid got him by the foot, but, I mean, you can't arm tackle that and kid. What does uh, Chris Berman say? He could. Go. go. Oh, oh, the way. And he did. <laughs> he did. I mean, that was a fourth and two play, and that's what I was talking about. They had to punch it in right there. To, I mean, it kind of is a, a signature score right there. Say, hey, look, we're still here. We ain't going away. We came to play. Yeah. Yep. 26 to 6, the big, the big purple and white team is in the head of the Blue Devils of Harriman. Two-point play, oh, and he's in there again. Points, that's, 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 no flags. That's the same exact play. No same, flags. The same result. He goes in for the two-point conversion. Yeah. The kid had him by the foot. You see who he's running, what side he's running on? It's high Steamroller. B- yeah, right behind Soberanis. Yeah. And, and you got bon- or, um, Logan R- Davis over there, too. He's the center. And well, he, I'm saying, though, he's a big kid. Right. Well, they're all what big is he, What is he, about 6'4"? He's, yeah, he's huge. I, I seen him at church Sunday, and I'm like, good Lord, you ever going to quit growing? <laughs> I, I, growing I, right? I think that was uh, on that side over there where uh, Steamroller and um, uh, Grant Hoover yeah. is on that side. You know, it's hey, hey, guys, it says a lot about that Monterey offense. When we ain't lined up to kick a field goal, we've, we've been brave enough to go for the two. That's yep. exactly right. You, you know, you, I know you, we've got a good kicker. Barry, we could kick a field goal easy. You're exactly right. But guys, we're sitting here three minutes and forty seconds to go in this in halftime, and Monterey's up twenty-eight to six, cruising up here. 
in Harriman, Tennessee. We're huddled up on the far side. Monterey's uh, Coach Hughes is talking to them. They're blowing the whistle at them. Neil, what do you know about the Thornton Agency? The Thornton Agency? Uh, I, ca find I caught you off guard, didn't you I? You did, mm -hmm. but hey, guess what? They Turbo. represent over 20 companies and can tailor the right plan for every need at any possible rate. Hey, building relationships one client at a time, give Josh a call today, 931-252-4659. It's 931-252-4659. Four six five nine. Give Josh a call. Yeah, he's our uh, halftime sponsor. Yeah, yeah, JJ caught me sleeping back here. I'm standing <laughs> up and I'm like, got my uh -oh. eyes closed. Well, here we're here lining up for the kickoff again. We got uh, whatever you want to call him. Sober on us. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's kicking a, for yeah, us. Yeah, big call, leg. We hey. call him sir. Yeah, no kidding. No, that was an offside on the pooch kickoff. Kick. Yeah, and it bounced. Kick. Oh, and it bounced. It got there by in the backfield. Look at that. It goes it out of bounds. It went out of bounds on the 24. 24 yeah, they'll, they'll yeah. get on 35, though. No, no, he touched it. Did he? Yeah, yeah he it touched looked like he touched it. He, he touched, touched the, ball. the ball. It went out of bounds. I couldn't tell if he touched it or not. Yeah, it looked like he touched that, it. That was kind of dumb play. If he touched it. Yeah, it went out of bounds. It went out of bounds. What's that? They're walking up to the 35. Oh, no. That's all right. Well, we're sitting about what, how many how many hundred yards from the play? We've seen that yeah, one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It looks like a little bit of home cooking there, Neil. Yeah, yeah that's Mark. all right. Hey, listen, as long as the score stays the way it is, they can have them a home cooking play every once in a while. That was kind of a break from Monterey, really, because, you know, we're sitting right up here watching where the kickoff at. We're almost in line with it. And the guy on this side was about two yards ahead of Soberanis when he kicked it. So he was offsides on the kickoff. Yeah. That may have been what they called. You know, Scott Hughes over there, he's getting, he's trying to get a hold of the referees. I've watched him. He's still yeah. pre pre pleading his case. Oh, he's, he's ticked because that guy hit it and then knocked it out of bounds. Yeah. You can hear Scott yelling in Yeah. Right now. First and 10 from hey, the 35. throw the ball. Who's getting it right here? Oh, oh what a nice lick. Hit. What a lick. Good catch, but what a lick. That was, uh, that was Mr. Michael Allred. Uh, he came up from his safety position. Yeah, he put a good lick on him. About a five-yard gain on the play. There's that big old boy. You can see him right there. 14. What's that? Four. Talking Four about the receiver. Yeah, he's tall. Yeah, he's 19, I think, isn't he? Big tall kid, but he's not played a lot. That's no. what, that's what's perplexing. Yeah, Look no. At 22 on the sidelines yeah, of the big old boy. He's, he's over on the left he's side. He's far side, yeah. Who are they going after back there? Who's the cornerback? 20, it looks like, maybe? He's, a yeah, he's looking that way. Yeah, of course. There's your tackle right there in the open field by Soberanis. That's a pitch and catch there. Guys, I don't have my roster in, in, in front of me. Who's number 20? Number 20 would be Logan Sparks. There you go. Logan Sparks. He's over on the on the corner where uh, he, he Chandler Bowden yeah. is he, in the safety position. He hit a slant route right there and just yeah. – just squeaked in for it. That that's kind of been what they've been doing all night, though. They had the outrider, outside receiver doing a slant, and the inside receiver going to flat. It'll be first right. and ten. Same from kids the, out on the far side again. Yeah. Monterey's forty-nine yard line, back to pass up, up. Nobody in the world is running Nobody that ball. Even close. Nobody even close. Incomplete. And trying to throw him to number six again. Is he going to up? Don't act up. <laughs> Walk up the sideline. Uh, go ahead and act up. It'll be a 15-yard old butter or butter head. Butter he's head been 15. acting up all night. Yeah, that's uh, if, if when I played ball, if I act like that, I know what I was getting when I got home. I was gonna get a whooping. But that was back, you know, a long time ago when that wasn't a big deal. Okay, we got a shout out from Mr. Michael Peters to Wayne Brown. He, he said, uh, heck, I thought it was John Moore back. Oh, look at that tackle. Wow, yeah. right there at midfield, number yeah. four. Hardy. Bowman takes him down. Maybe a yard. That's a good good tackle right there. Yeah, it looks like they're right on the line of scrimmage starting out again. They got ten yards to go. It's third and ten. Yeah, Michael said that he thought John Ward was back calling the game, but he found out it was uh, Wayne Brown. It was, it was Wayne the beard. Brown. It's the beard. Wayne the beard Brown. Hey, someone texted me earlier and said if you can call people with a beard, you can call them the uh, the mullet. So All right, that's exactly right. There you, right. you go. All right, go. We well, got we got the we okay got the mullet the over fan. here that's on right. the end. We got third and long, guys, from uh, the forty-eight yard line. 
here for the. They're lined up. They got four, three on the top, one on the bottom. Blue Wide Devils. Outs. They're looking to throw again, and they found a soft spot once again. Oh, no, and this kid oh, slips no, he's it. Gone. He's, he's gone. running down the sidelines. He's gone. Yep. He got burnt. Oh, yeah, like yeah, number six. Number six. Number six did it again. That's a blind side tackle. Yeah, you yeah. can't do that. Throw him out of the game. Blind side hit. That yeah, kid, man, oh, man. Yeah, he's pleading his case over there with the official. They're going to. It ain't going to work. They're going to call that back. Yeah, it ain't going to work. That is one too many times for that kid. He's yeah. still over there talking to him. He'll get ejected. Yeah, he should. And he takes. He pulls the court. Uh, I mean, pulls the touchdown out for them. They go all the way back. No, he's staying back from them refs. He will go. Right. It'll go from the uh, probably. Uh, who did he hit over there? I couldn't quite make Chandler out who Bowden. was chasing Bowden. Yeah, he hit him in the back. Yeah, they found that soft spot though yeah. on the corner over yeah. there. We talked about where they're running five and out. Yep. They've done that over and over and over. Here comes the call. Waving off the flag. Oh, oh, really? My goodness. Oh, Are you kidding me? Yeah, the coach is all over number six right there. He He's saying it. stuff to him. Are you kidding He's me? He's letting him have it. He made him, he made him believe that, man. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Well, it was that a touchdown from the 48-yard right right. line. I mean, 28 that, to 12. I don't know what the uh, plan is here. I don't know if they're going to try to kick or if they're going to try to. They're probably going to try for two. Boyd's pass was complete to number seven, Tobias Campbell. Seems like we're going to have to find somebody who can cover number seven. He's been the only one catching the ball. As a blatant them. block in the back. Yeah, it's a blindside block. Yeah. You know, blocks like that is what get kids hurt bad. minute and 33 seconds to go in halftime, and uh, Harriman just scored. Came in Campbell for Harriman. Uh, if Catches I the ball and runs in, but that's – that's how many times has this kid caught the ball? That's probably six, six completions, I think. Yeah, five – Five yards and out. He's running yeah. the sideline, catching a soft pass and turning up the field. Yeah, there's a missed tackle over there. Yeah, there were the two missed tackles. I think it was uh, who's number 20. Yeah, you listen. Coach Hughes will be letting them have it here in about five seconds. You'll hear him yelling in a minute. Yeah, yeah. there's a missed tackle on the corner, and then and then Bowden or yeah Bowden tried to catch up with the play, and then he got hit in the back. It wasn't called and. The Harriman receiver went in for the touchdown. So. Well, what will happen is they'll start playing a little rough, and it'll – that's that's kind of what happens. You yeah, get a block in the back, and then people take it a little personal, and the game starts getting a little chippy, and looks like they're going to try to throw the ball again. They've got this huge receiver out there on the far side of the field from us. They're looking, looking to throw it to the way. corner. Nope, he goes the other way. And, and it's an interception. It's picked up. Nope. It's he dropped down. It. Yeah. Two points, no good. Yeah. Michael already in on good play. play good play. Yeah. Bowman just uh, put the quarterback down. I don't know if you saw that here in the back. No, I couldn't see it. The f I got a fence in my way. Yeah. Mason Bowman comes up, pops him, puts him on the ground there. Our, our press box is right on top of the bleachers. So anytime anybody walks by, they walk in and look at us and smile. Not many have smiled though. Most of them. Is, <laughs> yeah, most of them aren't like. No, here. you know they, why? They, We're on the home side. They don't like purple. Yeah, that's all right. So number seven has been targeted six times. He's got four catches for 85 yards. Wow! Wow! Number seven. I, I see Larry Wiley's drone out there flashing. Mm-hmm. He's around somewhere close. Yeah, Larry. When if you see his footage, he's got some amazing footage from that drone. Well, guys, I'm just glad everything's working the way it's supposed to. That's right. Hey, we got a minute and 33 seconds left in the first half. Got a break in action, though. We do. Hey, Monterey Drugs, your hometown pharmacy, they treat you like a neighbor, not just a number. They're located in the Save-A-Lot Shopping Center on Elmore Street. Give them a call at 931-839-6777. That's 931-839-6777. Okay, Monterey's going to get the ball with a minute and 33 seconds to go, and good kick. That's that's all red. Look here. Look at this. He's, 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 he's gone. He's in. Oh, that's Bowman. Bowman. That's Bowman. That's Bowman. Is he in his flags yeah, on the play? That's what you get for blocking in the if, back, if guys. Is there any flags? Yeah. Yeah. They're out here in the middle of the field chirping that's, again. Yeah, so that's what you get. I do not see no flags on the play, so Bowman took her to the house. To the house. I think they just uh, – 
the PA guy just said there's a flag on the play. There he is at the 40-yard line. Wow. Face mask against uh, Harriman, nope. and guess what? There we that's go. That's good. Good. So Monterey goes up a big, uh, what is it, 34 to 12? That's going to be 34. That was a heck of a return. I mean, he broke, what, three or four tackles he on did. that? He did. He just ran through them. That's yeah. the thing. It's not like yeah. they're grabbing him and holding on. And he's folks, hitting them, and boom, he's, he, the he's a and sophomore. It's, and it's not slowing him yeah. down. It's not really slow. That, that's what happens. You got a kid that's that's real thick and strong like that. When you they try to arm tackle him, it's not going to work. Mm -mm. You got to no. wrap him up. Do you think Scotty is uh, Scotty's in a better mood now that uh, he got that uh, score back? Yeah, I, I think so. Coach you, Scotty. Oh, I bet he was running a pretty hot tempo. Hey, listen, we're about to take the snap here. Four wide outs, one in the backfield. Shotgun formation. They take the ball. They're handing off. No, they, they all red. All red. He's he going to go in. There. And he he goes. goes in for two. That was Monterey up 36 to 12. Michael Allred runs it in. That was a good little play right there. He tried to go inside, then he bounced it outside and just, just beat everybody at the corner. Allred's got some speed too, guys. Yeah. You know, you got to be impressed the way Monterey has played in this first first half. They're playing a quality team. Yeah. This team is not bad. Mm -mm. But and Monterey has, has, has had two turnovers. They've well, had their way with them. Yeah, they they returned a interception for a touchdown. Then we just run a kickoff back for a touchdown. You have two quick scores like that. It it builds some. Was that about a uh, eighty yard? Yeah, kickoff about eighty yards. Down? Yeah, that offense is explosive. Yeah, you know. yeah, they're bad. And uh, you know, guys, they ain't throw the ball much. No, I mean it's all been on the ground pretty much. No, we've had their way pretty much on the ground, rushing yards. Yeah. I mean, keep doing it until they stop it. I guess that's uh, the philosophy. Yeah. So Monterey's up 36 to 12 with a minute and 17 seconds to go in a half. On a, on a team that they they were not picked to win. No, 36 to 12. You know, Monterey is ranked number 10 in state this week. Mm -hmm. I, I think, For a reason. I think that they may move up a little bit this mm -hmm. week. Yeah. Them and Gordonville was tied. Yeah. And the AP poll. Team roller downtown. Nice all the way to the back. Oh, wow. Goes all the way to the end zone. Zone. Out of the end zone. They went yeah. through the end zone. That was a great. Gosh, a mighty kid touch has got the ball. Got touch him, touch him. He can run. Nope. No, I called it off. So it, it was a touchback. Then, yeah, uh, nice kick. The Blue Devils get the ball on the 20 yard line. I want to call him, call him Blue something else, but I'll be nice. Well, they're getting, they're getting we got, educated we, tonight. We yeah, we got the. We got to keep old JJ wrangled in I here. I know. Tonight. I get fired up sometimes, as my grandpa said. You get fired up. You're fired up. Our broadcast sponsor is uh, the booth is sponsored by First Volunteer Bank. They are your neighborhood bank, and remember, they're the bank of personality. Nine three one six four six five five zero one. Had to be quick because we're going back to action right here, folks. Harriman's about to snap. He got three, four receivers out. He's looking short pass. It's number seven got him. in. Uh, but that's, that's five yards for him. He picks up about five every time. That's Bowman with the tackle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, got about, what, four yards? Yeah, Monterey is making the adjustment to cover that. You know with, with Coach Hughes, he's going to make them make the adjustment. He He's probably one of the best in-game coaches I've seen in high school in a while. My pen's going dry here. The beard needs a pen. Guys, right. we'll break away to halftime here in a minute. we got some commercials coming up. so Long good. pass down the field, number seven in the flats again. Oh, wow. How would he come oh, up with that? Come over that ball. How in the world? He looked like he got hit and then spun around and caught it. We had two guys that were looked like they had lasers on that ball coming yeah. up to get it. I don't know why we hadn't put somebody on him and just – you played the yep. spy game. Everywhere he goes, you go. Well, the quarterback, he was he was scrambling backwards off his back foot and, and just threw it up. And you notice every time he stopped to throw, he's not moving. He's no. not jockeying at all. So he's only going to one area. But yeah. The receiver turned around on the ball and was watching the ball. So he, oh, yeah. he knows where it's coming. He had double coverage on him and still caught it. Yeah. That's impressive. Number seven for Harriman. He's uh, turned out to be probably the best player on the field for them. Cayman Campbell's his name. Another short pass. That's Look, pass. right there again. And Four yards. He backs tackle. up. Missed tackle. Miss tackle. And he's getting stripped. No. Finally got him down. Riding down for a first down. And the clock is stopped with 22.2 seconds to go. Another first down by Harriman. 
They're going quick right here. They're already lined up. Well, hurry up, offense. Yeah, they're hey, hurrying clock, up. Clock is running. Yep, they, they wound, wound the clock at the spot of the Another ball. pass. They're looking it's long deep, again. Deep ball. And it's up for grabs. And oh, they caught it. it. How in the Get world? Down. How in the world? Six number, seconds left. Number, you sling the ball. It's number seven again. And they're out of timeouts. Yeah. Well, it was number, uh, number 12 that went up oh, for the well, had to first move down. The move, the move the chains. Number 12 for Monterey went up to block the ball and, and, and missed the block. Right here. And we've got 2.4 seconds to go with second down on the, what is, where are they at? About the 19-yard line? Yeah, about yeah. the 19-yard line. Quarterback spikes hit the ball. So, those those balls that are just throwing up for grabs, they're somehow they're come, it, they're coming up with they're it. Flo I mean, it's a floating pass. Yeah, it's not I mean, really even a shot you're throwing at somebody. No, you're just kind of throwing it up, hoping hoping and praying that somebody will catch it. And so far, those prayers have been answered. That's right. Halftime, I'm sure Coach Hughes will adjust for that. Here yeah. comes number 19 back in the game, the tall, lanky kid. I'm sure they'll throw to him. Look, he doesn't even go to the huddle. Yeah, he knows the ball's coming to him. Yeah. Yep, throwing it up to him. So watch over here on the short yeah, side. Yeah, Eli Sailors, the sophomores, up against this kid. And we got 19. Bowden coming over. Yeah, coming yeah they're switching. Oh, yeah. They're pulling over heavy this side. We're seven at. You got to know where he's at on the field. There's he's looking feet. over. He's flat. Down he's the flat middle. Again. Oh. Intercepted. No, yeah, tip. there you go. That's over good. Good. Silverados came in, but he didn't come up with it. That's the end of the quarter, folks. 36 to 12. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors with the Thornton Agency halftime. Uh, halftime show. Show. Stay tuned for the Thornton Agency Halftime Show, where we'll recap the first half action as well as go over stats of the first half after a word from our sponsor. At First Volunteer Bank, we're not just a community bank. We're a bank that's here for our community. We know our customers by name and treat them like family. And we're here to serve our community however we can. Whether it's teaching financial literacy in our local schools or collecting and donating thousands of canned food items each year to local food banks, we're a part of your community. If you're looking for a community banking relationship, we make it easy for you to switch because we're here to help you every step of the way right down to a local person on the other end of the phone to assist you when you need it. First Volunteer Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Call the Tree Guys today for all your tree cutting and trimming needs. They offer tree removal at the customer's request. They give senior discounts. They even have 24-hour service available. And they do jobs for insurance claims. They are fully licensed and insured with over 10 years experience. Just give the Tree Guys a call today. 931-267-6191. 931-267-6191. The Thornton Agency is an independent insurance agency representing over 20 companies and are able to tailor the right plan to every need at the best possible rate. Their number one goal is to provide quality service. Their mission is to build long-lasting relationships, not just mere clients. They're located at 418 East Broad Street, Suite D1 in Cookville. Give Josh a call today at 931-252-4659. That's 931-252-4659. Neighbors Helping Neighbors, that's what the VEC Customer Share Fund accomplishes. Participating customers round up their monthly bill to the nearest dollar. The extra money goes into a shared fund that supports Monterey High School sports and academics, as well as other community projects throughout the VEC service area, making Monterey and surrounding communities even better places to live. Make your change count and sign up for the VEC Customer Share Program. If you're looking for an honest, dependable, and experienced shop to have your vehicle repaired, check out A1 Auto Repair just outside of Monterey on Highway 70. Bill, Tim, and Kurt have the knowledge and experience to handle almost any auto repair you may have. From wiper blades to major engine repair, they provide expert and reasonable solutions to keep your vehicle on the road. Go by and see them the next time your auto needs maintenance or you have a problem. Call them at 931-839-3013. That's 931-839-3013. One three, go cat! In 
Mare Drugs, our focus is on you. You're not just a number, you're a neighbor. We'll get to know you so we can give you the personal service you deserve. Monterey Drugs, your hometown pharmacy. Proud sponsors of Monterey High School. Located on Elmore Street, right next door to the dollar store. Just give them a call at 931-839-6777. 931-839-6777. We're wishing the best for Monterey High School sports and academics. IDK Cafe, located at 124 East Commercial Avenue in Monterey, are proud supporters of the Wildcats. Check out their Facebook page at IDK-CAFE for an up-to-date menu as well as daily specials with their newest menu item being the Wildcat Burger Combo. They're open Tuesday and Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., Thursday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Jenny and her staff would like to encourage every Monterey student to be the best they can be at academics as well as athletics. Go by and see them today at the corner of Chestnut and Commercial or give them a call at 9 931-584-0214. That's 931-584-0214. Hey guys, we're back at the uh, halftime show. I've got Barry Henry and Wayne the Beard Brown. They've got some stats for us in the first half. The Beard, what do you got over there, my friend? All right, so for uh, Harriman here, we have nine penalties for 73 yards. Um, so far, their lead tackle will be number 60. I'm pretty sure he's their right tackle. Um, what did I ask? Um, their leading receiver, number seven, has been targeted 10 times. He's got seven catches for 117 yards. So that's their workhorse. And um, it looks like they've had two fumbles, three, three punts, and a pick six. Yeah, pick six. But the penalties is what stands out. Oh, yeah. Nine penalties for 73 yards. What about Monterey? How are they looking on defense? The, it's the offense right now. Oh, well, tell us about the offense there. Okay, on off, offense right there, uh, uh, looks like we started off on, on the first play of, of the game. On the 44, it took us uh, three plays to score. Looks like number four, Mason Bowman on it. Uh, then we, we, and when we came back in the second series, I, I, we received the ball again. We started on the 30-yard line, and uh, we had a punt. On, we punted on, punted on that one. Uh, on the third time we received the ball, we started on the 37 right there, and uh, that resulted in five plays. That resulted in a touchdown, number four, Mason Bowman again. And uh, the next time we received the ball on the 33, and uh, we punted on that ball right there on, on, on uh, five plays of, of that one. And let's see. Okay. Then we went uh, right here to uh, – I got, I got another punt again on uh, – on the uh, fifth play of that game, and then number 40, looked like 46, on, we, we received it on 47, and uh, Mason took it in, to I think, for a touchdown. To the house. Took it to the house. Took it to the house, he, yes. He, uh, he, he could go all and, the and way. And then the last, uh, uh, the last touchdown of the, of, the, of the half would come Mason Bowman again for it. Uh, with uh, 80 yards. 80 yards. Yeah. Yeah. It was, which kick was, return. Which was a kickoff return. Also, You're got right. some scoring updates of uh, some people that we all may know. Sure. Let us One have is it. a local score that I, when I did live in Crossville, I watched the Alcoa Maryville game every well, year. That's a powerhouse of a football that was game, a game, is what that, that is. is. Alcoa, it's, not, it's not Maryville, it's Merville. Yeah. Merville. I'm trying to not speak so Monterian. Um, so <laughs> it's okay. You can leave Hattie. Monterey. We might leave you in Harriman <laughs> because you know I am the mayor, right? We'll be in with Glenn Hattie. Yep, it's his truck. Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll go drove, back with you. I drove. Uh, mayor, of, or I'm sorry, see, Maryville. Alcoa is up nine to nothing. Oh, on Maryville. Yeah, on Maryville. Well, Maryville usually does not come out on the winning end of that. Is that right? The beard, you're over That's there. True. I think but, I think Alcoa is. Yeah, Alcoa uh, tends to pull it out. 
you have Upperman seven, Livingston Academy six. Hmm, that's that's close. a local game for the Upper uh, Cumberland. I failed to mention that while ago right there on that interception right there, number 52, Silverados right there on that for six. Uh, yeah. We have Clay County 14, Cumberland County 7. Wow. Trousdale That's County is up on Gordonsville 14 to 7 now. We like that. Yep. Yeah, I don't care about anybody else on but here. But that's still, uh, that's still a sign <laughs> of power when, you're, when a 2A team is playing yes. a 1A, you know, and they're that close. Right. You know, when I when I was in high school, I didn't play football, but Trousdale County was always a thorn inside of Monterey. Yes, in the the side of Monterey, because they were the team to beat back then. But in every sport too. Yeah. And baseball every year, we'd go to Substate, and we always had to go Friendship Christian. That's that's who I was about to talk about. They were always in the way. Yep. You know, it seemed like every time you turned around, there they were. Yeah. Yeah. They went to do Division Two though. Yeah. They're in that independent division. Yeah. The Christian School Division. Yeah. They needed to go into there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem with them. And of course, Trousdale County is what two A now. Two A. I believe so. I believe it's two A. I believe they are two A. Guys, let's give a shout out to our volleyball team. They won the other night against uh, uh, the other day, though. It, Oakdale, wasn't it? Against Oakdale. And it was a surprise uh, JV game they didn't even prepare for, and the JV won too. So That's awesome. Hey, that is awesome. Way to go, Lady Wildcats. They're three and four on the season with the varsity, and they're two and three on the, on the junior varsity. So they're doing a good job. That'll and be- then we got another, uh, another game coming up Thursday night with – uh, our junior high. We're going to Baxter. Is I it think up so. Up in the middle school. I think so. I, I, unfortunately, I won't make that game, folks. I know you're all going to be crying and and sad, but you know, have to pull the plug, I, mayor. I, I have. Uh, we'll you know, be done. I have commitments being the mayor that that take precedent. So, you know, so I'll, I'll have to do my mayor duties that night. We might talk somebody else into coming in. Yeah, we we had talked about having some guest commentators. Okay. We got uh, Kyle Childress said things have changed, so he's on our uh, he's on our chat. So we'll find out about that, guys. I'm gonna check off and, and, and talk to him just a second. So hey, got gotcha. you. Hey, the halftime show is sponsored by the Thornton Agency. We just want to make sure that we uh, give a shout out to our great sponsors. We still have uh, quite a few people listening and that have checked in on YouTube tonight. Um, any other information you guys want to share with us as far as stats or any other games that we're looking at? I have two more. Uh, Cookville is up 28-14 to 14 on White County. And Joe Burns is now down 14-20 to 20 against Houston County. Wow. wow. So, Cookville got a new field this week. They were showing it off since they have their big uh, rivalry game with White County. They have a new turf field down there. Um, yep. Why, Why County has looked pretty strong so far this year. That's kind of surprising to me. We'll, we'll be visiting Joe Burns here in a yeah. few weeks. A couple of weeks, yeah. yeah well, listen, our, guys, Coach uh, Childress well, just uh, chimed in with the junior high and found out that Upperman is quarantined for 14 days. Wow. So that wow, game wow. next Thursday night is going to be canceled. Well, guess what, folks? You don't get to miss me because we won't be broadcasting the game. Thank God we won't have to pull the plug. Yeah. There you That's go. That's what, three I, weeks in a row, though, right, for Monterey? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unless they unless they schedule a backup. Now we've got we've maybe got a few maybe days. we can get a get a replacement game. Yeah, as soon as we find out, we'll put it on the on the Facebook. Ha- have York come to Monterey. Yeah, that'd be nice. And we'll get to see them ugly uniforms the crush. again. Yeah, let's yeah. bring the, the crush. The crush. It's Cobra. Cobra's. Now, it's I'm, been a thorn in everybody's side. It, everybody. Yeah, every time we talk about them, I'm going to talk about them god awful ugly uniforms they had. Good. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Avery Trace Tuesday night at Monterey at six thirty. Okay. Move one up. So this is Coach, uh, Coach Kyle Childress. Childress that we're talking to. I'm going to find out if that's this next week. Yeah, Avery Trace has got a pretty stout little team down there for middle school. Yeah. You know, they're, they've are they got a 1,000 students in the school there. Wow. Um, so they're not hurting on talent. They usually have some kids that can really play well. They're well coached. Um, so that'll be, that'll be a tough game for our our yeah. middle school it'd team, be, it'd yeah. Be, it'd be a good challenge for them. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's yeah. what makes it good, you know, having the challenge. Right. So, we, we let's see, Avery Trace Tuesday night at Monterey. So, we're going to have a Monterey game Tuesday yeah. night. So, guess what, folks? I'll get to do Mayor it. Mayor J.J. will be with us. Yeah. Well, Neil's up here fanning his papers and that. I can feel it. I am, hey, listen, I'm hot over here. Hey, I'm let's, sweating. Let's pull our money together and let's get somebody up here with the fan. 
You know, like you see them old Egyptian people with oh, the big, yeah. big palm leaves. I got five dollars in on it. Yeah, got five. I've got maybe five in my oh, pocket. Oh, see, I spare. My JJ's wife gave got me. five. Anybody with a fan out there oh. that wants to hit up here in the box? Oh, I go. got ten. I got twelve dollars. Hey, we cannot allow them to use the power supply. That's the only problem we have no. around here. So that's my allowance. My wife gave me. Yeah, so. just don't mm -hmm. smell of it or don't touch it. All right. right. Not hey, the, hey guys. Oh. Hey, yes, I'd sir. like to take a rent this place here as a, as a sauna. No they kidding. We're not using it for football. Right now they could, for sure. Listen, guys, I've got another update from Coach Childress. The JV game will be at 5.30, so we'll we'll need to get over about 5 o'clock and get both of them games in. So Yeah, Coach Childress is saying he needs JJ there, so we got to make it happen. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, That's he said, fun. let's go. I need you there. All right. I'll, I'll hop you up. You you added like I said the other the other day you you've added a bunch of spice between you and Neil Markham yeah you know well like I I always say I don't know what I'm doing I'm just talking folks well, if if you could see in this in this press box we're wall to wall purple yeah we got five people up in here well I would say what they used to call it the Navy but it's not appropriate for our, our listening audience okay thank you Mayor <laughs> folks we've got a minute and forty six seconds to go in this halftime so. Looking forward to Monterey coming back out and, and uh, doing the same thing they did. Yeah. Hey, if you got a first half player of the game so far, who are you looking at? I'm at Bowman. No doubt. It's got to be Absolutely him. Bowman. Yeah, yeah you know. Oh, Mason Bowman. He's ran away with it, literally. I got I to gotta give one vote to Anthony Severatus. I mean, when, you, yeah. when a lineman comes up with a touchdown. Oh, right yeah. There, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's something big. Yeah. That's right. You don't hardly ever see a lineman come up with a touchdown. Yeah, pick six. That's that's incredible. And yeah, like, he did that last year. We watched him do that countless times last year. Well, he looked like he was in the route. <laughs> yeah. You know. I mean, he caught the ball going full speed ahead. Yeah. Yeah. He caught it running. Uh, and I'll tell you another standout I see is Allred. I think Allred's played a good game tonight. Yeah. He so has far. ran the ball well when he's got it. He's done very well. Yeah. He's played well too. Now but listen, we're under a minute left in time. We got to mention the. Uh, the Thornton Agency one more time since they're our pre or not pregame halftime show uh, sponsor. The Thornton Agency represents over 20 companies, and they can tailor the right plan to every need at the best possible rate. Building relationships one client at a time. Give Josh a call today. 931-252-4659. 931-252-4659. All right, our boys back on the field. They're doing some stretches and getting ready to. Uh, Go out and play some more football in the second half. Maybe they'll come out and post another 36 this half. And yeah, that that would be great. You know, Harriman's not even took the field yet. No. Yeah, where are they? I'd say they're, they're probably they're, they're probably still in there trying to get their hind ends back together. They're gonna have to go get them get them out of the locker room. They probably got chewed out pretty good. I'm sure. I bet they did. There's the There's horn a, and nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. And so I guess we're in limbo. Yeah, there's no. I would do some commercials, but we got so many sponsors now. It may take all the first, the third quarter to play about. Hey, that's hey we appreciate and, everything y'all yeah. do. That's Here they a, come down. That's a, a good, that's a good problem to have. Oh, it's a great problem to have. We appreciate everybody. The what? newest one that we got on it was uh, Miss Jenny up over there at the IDK Cafe. She's right over there at the corner of North Chestnut and East Commercial Avenue. And if you don't know where it's at, it's right across the street from Family Dollar. Yep. Yep. Yep, just right there with the, by the first bad. But she's she's uh, sponsored the play of the game, and so far, yeah, uh, Mason Bowman's got my vote. Yeah, I think he uh, he's yeah. a, he's a standout so far in this game. Well, he was a standout last week. You know, I my, I he, he was. one of my votes, but you know, I had to agree with you guys too on the on the other coin. Uh, you know, was it Chandler Bowen? Seemed like. Well, it's no. Carter Charles. Oh, Charles. Yeah, excuse the me. Mullet. Oh, I get them two mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, the mullet. Yeah. The uh, the but, mullet. So, you know said, the mullet the both mullet. of them did a great job you know but it's like ohio state the ohio state oh god hey, don't that make you sick it does but anyway i ha I just had to say that i mean bowman's probably done got about about four or five hundred yards on the season already it's just the second game you know? I, I thought he had about that many this game in the first half yeah. <laughs> what he okay. broke through there at the 30 yard line and ran all the way down that's what it looked yeah, like yeah he had about a 90 yard return out down here didn't he 80 yards 80. Okay, we got uh, Colin Miller in here, JJ. He says, uh, thanks, JJ, for posting the link to this. We're all gathered around the TV listening in. Go Wildcats. Go Wildcats. We go. Hey, we like that. So, Rick, hey, if we have someone out there that might be interested in becoming a sponsor, 
How do they, uh, how they do that? I've been, uh, there's been uh, several of them hey. on the chat box wanting to find out. I, I said I'll text them after we get through. We'll, we'll let That's them good. know. So mention it in the link to the chat box, the live chat we've got going on, and somebody will connect with you about sponsorship. We'd love to have more. Uh, we always appreciate every sponsor we have. So, And if anybody would want to sponsor a fan, we'll take it. Yeah, a little. And it'll turn into a heater later on. Or oh, a portable right air right condition. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, we got a couple extra minutes put back on the clock for him stretch. Um, Harriman didn't quite make it out in time to get moving around. but um, well, They look like they're barely moving now. Yeah, that's, they're having a struggle, I believe. It's a, tough, it. it's a tough yeah. season, you know, when you, you win a game, you lose two. You know, it looks like you might lose a third. It's just tough. It, it gets in their head a lot of times, and that's when you've got to teach your kids to be mentally tough. Yeah. You know, and be able to bounce back from anything that happens, you know. And that's a great life lesson uh, for any of these kids. You know, you're dealing with kids that are 14, 15, 16, 17, sometimes 18 years old. Yeah. That's um, that's what we noticed about Scott Hughes. He seems to be able to get inside their head yeah. and, and keep them in line. Monday, Monday practice, you can ask uh, Mr. Rick McNeil there. They were, he was shouted at them the whole practice. Yeah. It seemed like nothing went right. It wasn't Tonight good. out here, they're playing a real good game. Yeah. You know, uh, guys, that's the difference between uh, having, you know, seven or eight seniors and having three seniors. Right. That's the big difference between it. This this team is a young team. Yeah, they're we're going to be able to see these guys play for a couple more years. Yeah, they're playing real well. You know, he's talking about being mentally tough. I think you look at Harriman. Some of their players aren't aren't mentally tough the way they should be. Especially, you know, we talked about this number six guy all night long. I think he's mentally tough, challenged. He has a hard time with it. He's got anger. Yeah, Just he's staying issues. focused. I think you and know. There's some definitely some issues there. I mean, he's. He's tangled up a couple of our guys. He he hit a guy, you know, in the back on on that one play. It's yep. just, yep. you know. So we got number six. We've been talking about number eight quarterback. Is that the quarterback number eight? I don't know. Back to return the ball. No, I number think eight. it's number four. Nair Stokes is a running back, number eight quarterback. for them. Okay, Monterey's going to kick off to Harriman to start this uh, second quarter, folks. Monterey being up 24 points, they got to stay focused. So you yeah, can't let they, it get away. They can't get lazy right here. Yep. Exactly. You don't have the game in the bag. I mean, we scored 36 points. I don't think Scott will let that happen. Lord, no. <laughs> they got them lined up on the wrong side. Hughes is yelling at him about something. Something going on. Something he's sucked. He's been trying to keep him in check the whole game, Coach Hughes has. Uh, he get, he, he yeah. gets on them referees, boy, I tell you what. And I started to say, guys, I mean, Coach Hughes ain't going to let them boys take off. No. I mean, you you got a bulldog on that on that side over there. Now they're still talking. They don't know what's yeah. going on here. I don't know. Now, now the referee's going now over. Now they're all running. Look at this. I'm pretty sure Scott told them where all to be because – well, he's going to know. <laughs> so, so, is so the referee the is, has line. run the full length of the field. full length of the field. He's trotted. I'll, I'll give him that. He's trotted the. Yes, he has. He kind of eased up on them last ten yards. Yeah, yeah. winded. Okay, so Baranis. waiting on the whistle here to kick off the, the second heavy half. Stone, a steamroller foot. Gentlemen, we're underway here. Long, Long kickoff kick. all the way back Good. to the Nine, five yard, yard line. line. He's to the 10, to the 15, up to, up to, to the 20, the and the 20, he's trying to get some blocks, and that guy, they got, got him smothered got him. in. They're taking him down. To the 20-yard line, 15-yard yeah. return. Oh. I do believe we got some replacement players coming in right there, which there they. Go. There goes yeah. potted on the 21, Hill. So it's about yeah, a 15-yard return. That wasn't a bad return for that guy. He, he, he made a few moves, he made a couple. Didn't Listen, they? we got to find number seven now, and we can't lose him on the field. Yeah, he's Monterey's got to stay focused right here. I'd he's say uh, coach got him tuned in halftime on number seven. Yeah, they almost need to put a spy on him. Yeah. Still got Caden Jones and Bowman in. Number 12. Who, yeah. Who's number 12? Here comes Chandler coming over. He's still in the game. That's it's Byron kinda, Borjas. Byron yeah. Borjas. They've got him in the Yeah, there goes line right play. Look and, at this. No, he's, oh, he's, he's fast. Back. He's, there's a good block there's there. A right there. Yeah. There, that, there you go. There's a hit by number. Soberanis put a lick on that kid. He made it to the 50-yard line, though. Close to run. 29-yard run. 
No, that was Soberanus. Soberanus is the one put the lumber, laid yeah. the lumber to him, boy. He sure did. Babin held him up, and Soberanus laid the wood to him. Yeah, he finished it off. Okay, a big first down for the Blue Devils here coming out of this halftime. That was, that was only maybe their third or fourth run of the game, I believe, that I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's a step got, back, too. Was that number eight? That's the most uh, offensive yards they got on. Yeah, they put seven in motion okay. and went across the field, and then all of a sudden, boom, he's he's running. He tried to go up the middle, and it was nothing there, and he broke it outside. And it was a couple of miss, missed tackles. There he is he's in the middle again. again and and boom, they got, covered he up didn't, he didn't go that nowhere that time. No. 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 There's Silverana on again. again. Back to the line of scrimmage. Listen, you're not going to knock that kid out of the way. Mason. He's going to stay in the Have game. Mason, yeah. Bowman, yeah. Mason Bowman in there on the tackle. You got the mullet right there, too. I think he was pushed outside. Grant Hoover stopped that hole up, oh, yeah. guys. He was the one that plugged that up and then the uh, he, rest of the Wildcats. Is he, is he our nose tackle? I believe he is right yeah. now. Yeah, Grant is. Well, they're playing four on the line. Yeah. Right. He's sort of like a. Well, there can, it, it could be a three, yeah. four, a five, two, a yeah. four, three. I mean, it's, it's Coach kind of. Coach Hughes told me he didn't know exactly what it was. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a hybrid of a little bit of everything. Well, you leaving Silver Snaps there. Snaps back. Number four, it's this. in the air, and he seven, number seven caught it. it. He made a way to and catch it. He got it nailed by Bowman on number the tackle, seven. finally. That's no, Batman. that was um, Eli Sailor's number two, right? Yeah, okay. Guys, that's what Michael was calling me about uh, at halftime about. We're in about number seven and number six. Yeah. yeah. That was Borjas on the tackle. Excuse yeah. us. We okay. had that wrong. It was 12. Borjas. Was Byron Borjas. Yeah. We don't have our binoculars on, so. It'll be a first down on the 30-yard line for the, for the Blue Devils, and they're, they're mounting the drive, guys. Yeah, they're running yeah. the ball a little bit, throwing the ball a little bit. Three plays, and they're in their, uh, in their end they're of the field. Yeah, they 30. It's oh, on the ground. It's on the ground. He picks it up and throws Seven that. Seven gets the ball in the flats again, and he's still running? Are you kidding me? It's how how hard have to we not put somebody gain. on him? Not, team, not containing him. Yeah, 11-yard gain. Playing too far off of him. I mean, it, they're not really doing anything special. I mean, he's just yeah. he's just flashing out to the flat, and he's finding him. Five and out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's running five yards and taking the sideline and yeah, taking what they give him. Put here's that little the, move on him. Here's oh, number yeah. 19 coming in the in the play, guys. That's the that's the big receiver, big tall one. Yeah. yeah. We've heard anything from six two to he's six been, eight. So far. Yeah. he looks he's, he looks six two ish to me. Yeah, he's tall and slender. That makes him look taller than he is. Hammond's in the pistol. We've got twins on both sides. And hand off right up the middle again. and come on the left side. And he, he could go all the way, guys. He, he went in there. Yeah, he's, he's in. All the way. He's in. Number eight. Number eight went, went uh, 20 yards for the touchdown. That that was a nice Which run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He cut down the field. He cut up around. and He made some moves. That was that was an impressive run. you got to yeah. give it to him. That's Stokes, number eight, for that uh for that touchdown, so uh, cut the lead to 36-18. See, they changed it up from what they did the first half. They they mixed the plays up and kept Monterello off balance. Right. Well, they passed, passed, passed that whole first half, and yeah. now they're, they've they uh, decided they're going to change their the program. Drive. Yeah, that, that was, what, five plays, three running plays, yeah. two pass? Yes, three run, two pass. Looks like they're passing again. They're loaded up. He's looking. He's got He's nobody, looking. nobody. And he misses. He throws yeah. it away. It yeah. Two points, no good. So Monterey, 36 to 18. So you remember, I was talking the first half. Of that quarterback, when he's not set, he don't throw a pretty ball. He, right. he throws it. It's and he just, had to dance around then. Yeah. And ends up throwing it away. You're exactly if he, right. If he don't have his feet set, he's not going to throw an accurate pass. I think that's kind of a lot of quarterbacks are like that. You know, especially at this level. But we're, we're uh, not putting, bringing enough pressure really, it seemed like, to the backfield. Yeah. Because uh, that, there's been a couple good, bad, uh, excuse me, bad snaps there in the last few reps right there, and we hadn't, we hadn't been able to get in that backfield at all. Yeah. He, the ball was nearly on the ground, seemed like the last snap. That's true, Rick. That's uh, quarterback had it on the ground, picked it up. They better rein in their focus and intensity. Yeah, what they're doing, they're trying. They, they got them a little balance going. A, a few good running plays and 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 a few passing plays, and it, they made it work on that. Yeah, of course they got a got a lead and kind of went to sleep. But they you can't they, do that on a good team. They came back with that that, uh, that that little back right there, what is number eight, and and ran on us twice. Good. Mason Bowman, Caden Jones, all the way back for the Monterey Wildcats. We'll you see meant? what they do. They're going to squib kick this one maybe and try to. Make something happen. Yeah, you remember we called Dubois' name in, in the first half. He went out there. He's out there on the kickoff, though. I see him. 
Number 20, six. 21. Oh, 21. Pooch yeah, kick and looks like Eli Sailors picked it up to run, and he uh, is up to the yeah. forty-four yard line. Uh, that yep, be Eli. first and ten for the Wildcats. Um, he did that in the first half. You would think they figured out by now. Not to kick to him. Yeah. Well, he's pretty. He's pretty quick. He's another. He's another sophomore. Yeah. We got some great young talent that's going to continue to get better as the year progresses, and next year we will got, be even better. We got fourteen juniors, thirteen sophomores, three starting seniors. Wow. There's five on the team, but there's three starters. So we, we can watch these guys for another couple of years. Yeah, they're going to be dynamite for at least two or three more years. And got nine freshmen. Looks like we've got the mullet out here on the near side. Monterey's got a got a tight formation with eye, eye, eye backfield. Got a downtown's in motion. Hand off to Bowman. And he's running. Bowman is Bowman yeah, got, yeah, look at him stopping. On go. the left he's side, going. He, he's going. Yeah, he's got way down to the 35-yard line. So that's 10, 20, 24 yards. Is that right? Yeah, I mean. Tad gum. Kids guys, got the wheels, man. Let's, stop think, going. let's think up a nickname for Mr. Bowman. What about that? Can we do that? Think about it a little bit. I just want to throw that out there. I, I'm thinking probably fluid MVP. Yeah, for sure. This game, for sure. Hey, maybe people listening at home can put it on a Facebook page. Yeah, how about a, how about a, how about a nickname for uh, Mason Bowman? We lined up in the eye formation again. It's a tight set, no wide outs. Caden Jones moves. Another hand off to Bowman. Bowman. Bowman got enough for five, four, he's five. Still he's still running. He's, he's got another he's first pass. yard gain. That's another 12 yards. They had him two yards in the back he, of the backfield. And he ran through it. And he just kept moving, kept moving his feet. and just. He, it looked like he ran two or three people over. Yeah. So we need to call him the truck because that's what he's doing. He's trucking everybody. Truck, yeah. I was, thinking TD. Move, I was thinking sure. TD, maybe. Just yeah. call him TD. TD. TD Bowman. Yeah, TD Bowman from now on. Mason TD Bowman. He he gets that pretty easy. Yeah, what does is, what is the folks on YouTube world think? We're, we're waiting on some Hey, replies. another tight set. We're going with a quick snap. We're under center. I formation, man in motion. On our heads on 24-yard line. There's Bowman. He no, gets that's, it again. that's Michael Allred. Oh, is that Allred? Allred. Yeah. Allred uh, that looks like another first down. Yeah, it's, it's not real close. Real close. It'll be second oh, yeah. down in the yard. He's down to 15, looks like. Yeah. But yeah. Can what we a combination say, of backs you have Can we say Bowling. thunder and lightning? Yeah. Oh, we could. That'd be real easy with those two. Thunder and lightning. See, so you, you know, we talked about in the first half how Monterey came out in the quarterback, you know, in, in the shotgun. And here we are now. We're in a tight formation, almost like a goal line yeah, formation. Yeah, they're not spread out underneath, at all. Underneath. And, and under center. So they're, yeah. they're mixing still in it up. Eye, eye backfield. Or, yeah, eye backfield. Here's a handoff to there's a that's up Sparks. Back. That's Sparks. Up Sparks. Back. So it, it took this took the whole Logan team. Sparks. Took the whole team. Number take twenty, down. is that right? Yep. Number twenty. He's all the way yeah. down to the five yard line. So Monterey is first and goal from a five. See that that was an inside handoff to the up back. That's the first time we've seen that tonight. So they're expecting that that deep back to get the ball, and he just handed it off and just. Carried a few people for a first down. What about eleven yards? Yeah, just carrying them there, you know. I'm gonna give a shout out to Mr. Gary Murphy right after this play, but he he's he's listening to us from Texas. Oh, Mr. Murphy, so Monterey has listening. It, Monterey has it first and goal from the, about the six yard line. I formation again, a man in motion. They snap the ball. It's a pitch, pitch out, out to number to four Bowman, maybe. Bowman. Yeah, he bounces off a couple of guys. He that. gets stopped about the eight yard line. Yeah, he he they're shoving him down. Yards. You see that? Yeah. Number lost seventy one's just pushing him down. I think he throws his hands up. Yeah. I, I figured six was in there. That was uh, <laughs> yeah. Michael that was Michael Oliver. Yeah, he was. See him right there? Yeah. He was in there. Go figure. Yeah, well. So I lost a couple, so it'd be from the eight yard line it'd be second second and goal. That's all right, we're gonna bust one or two right here. Yeah, he ready. Had, that number six acts like a kid that somebody stole his lunch money today. They might have. Yeah. <laughs> he so might be got, hungry. Uh, we got second and goal from, from the eight. We're Monterey lined up still in the high formation again. It's a tight got, set again. Got one Jones in motion. Jones in motion. Here you go, number four. Mason Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. Bowman. He gets he's all the way down to the two, two yard line. Down to the two, yeah. Monterey B. That three-yard line be third, third and goal. goal from the three. You know, if it was me, it, you know, that first half when when uh, Montgomery ran that ball straight up the middle from the one-yard line, 
just right. a quarterback keeper, yeah. and went eight yards deep in the end zone before anybody stopped him. Anybody, yeah, anybody touched him, yeah. That'd be a perfect time to – who's that out on the outside? That is – that's Borjas. Borjas. Byron, Byron Borjas. He's on the outside, on the outside. You know, right now would be a perfect time to throw a fade to him. Downtown's in motion. There's Bowman oh, going to oh, that guy. Nobody. Ain't nobody. Down. Ran down down three yards to, to pay dirt. Well, he Marley. the side. They couldn't catch him. Yeah, he caught the corner. He was done. They they, they sealed that corner off, guys. They wasn't nobody. They wasn't a, they wasn't a blue jersey there at all, was they? No. No. So After Monterey they were blocked, down. he was already in the end zone. Then they start running at him. Yeah. 42 to 18 against the quality team. Yeah, we're, we're lining up go for two again, looks like. Matthew Montgomery runs in with the play, and we'll figure out what we're going to do. I'm sure we're going to be in that tight formation again. It seems like every time we get in that formation, we run it the whole drive. Well, got, well it guys. seems like it's secretive. You know what I mean? They, yeah. They will line up like that one – one series of downs, and you're like, well, what are they doing? And then all of a sudden, they're back in shotgun. Yeah, they're, they're, like they're in the four around. wide. So yep. I think this is becoming practice for the offense for different, like. Yeah, roll out wide, wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Is that with Charlton? Pass. That is uh, right. Carter Charlton. Can't. Carter, Carter Charlton, Charlton caught the two-point conversion. The Monterey. The mullet. The mullet. Two-point conversion. Pass. That was that was a great play. He, that was a rollout. Carter Charlton broke to the outside, and he was wide open. Where, what where what sold that was that fake? Yeah. Where was number six just then? He wasn't on that play. Probably, right? probably in the corner crying. Yeah. Yeah, he's he got the burned down there. Yeah, he's they, talking to the ref did, now. They did get burned just then. Yeah, that was a, that was a great fake. That. Uh, but guys, what I was talking, fixing to say a minute nope. ago, right there is, have you ever seen a finer back than uh, than uh, Mason Bowman for a sophomore? I don't think I don't ever think ever Monterey's ever had no a better way. back at Monterey. No way, not not You're, ever since I've been watching. I think it's maybe two thousand. One maybe, maybe that season, maybe 2002 season. We had a freshman, can't remember his name, but he ended up transferring to Livingston. He had like 1,700 yards as a freshman. He must have came in about year Michael graduated, my boy. Yeah, after, right year after, there. maybe the year after. I, I yeah, can't Brad's remember his right name, now. but um, we had a couple. I think he was a foster kid, if I'm not mistaken, and he got adopted by somebody in Livingston. But Bowman, yeah, he's just such an explosive back. I mean, if you you, you let him get out in open, you ain't gonna catch him. We're lined up, getting ready to kick off the ball again. Monterey, we've scored as many points this already than we scored last week, 44 an hour, 44 to 18. We so got a uh, we got a uh, nickname suggestion, Macy Baby by Laura Laura Cravens. Uh oh, pooch kick, and it, it died. Uh, he catches it. He caught a fair kick. He caught it at 40. Yeah, he picked it up. Yeah. If they blow the whistle real quick. Hey, yeah. let's, let's catch a sponsor break real quick. Hey, uh, how about the tree guys on our first down sponsor tonight? You got trees in the way? The tree guys got saws. Over 10 years experience, licensed and insured, 24-hour emergency service available. Call them today, 931-267-6191, 931-267-6191. Folks, we're going to give a shout-out to Monterey Nation. Wildcat Nation, wow. 206 views awesome. so far. Hey, we like that. Hey, you you forgot to talk about the guy from Texas. Oh, yeah, you will I'll tell him us, him. I'll yeah. get him here in a minute. We're, uh, it looks like they're running the ball now they're, again. Another handoff. Yeah. And they, they contain that up? time. No, he just ran through it. Arm tackles. You can't, just, you can't miss them tackles yeah, like that. That, that, that was a that push was right, right there. They just pushed. That was a hit out of bounds yeah. on Carter Charles. And I'm there was nothing called. Yeah. It's a late hit, way out of bounds. Way, almost, yeah. way late. Almost on the bench and no call. No call. And I keep talking about arm tackles. That's a perfect example right there that you cannot arm tackle. Well, you yeah. notice they're running away from the mullet. They're not going to his yeah. side of the field because he, he's been stopping them all night. But you see who's on the, on the tackle, though. Yeah. He came from across the field. Gary, we'll give you a shout out there in a minute. This uh, Harriman's pretty good, uh, quick, uh, quick huddle on this. So, Harriman's about to snap the ball again. First and ten Got from back, the forty-eight. They're going. Number seven gets open. the ball again. Good Lord, find somebody to cover that kid. Mason Bowman finally on, gets coach. him down after about a 13, 14 yard gain. I, I think we might be playing a little too far off of him, guys, tonight. Yeah. yeah, it's five and out every time. Yeah, running the same play. 
So it'll be first and ten yeah. from the 34-yard line for that, the Blue Devils. That's what I'm saying. They they need to put a spy on that kid. Yeah. Keep with him step for step. We have kids that are fast enough to do it. Yes, we do. That Sailor kid showed up earlier tonight playing great defense. Yeah. He'd be a prime candidate exactly. for me. Or even put Caden Jones on him. I know yeah. Caden Jones can Caden's cover him. fast. Got, got trips on the left side and single receiver on the right side. And they hand, hand it off to number eight. Off. Yeah. The backfield. The backfield. They, they, they got him out that time. They got Mason him Bowman. Time. Yeah, Mason no. Bowman yeah. smelled that one out quick. Wasn't that Michael already? Oh, was it? Mason Bowman. Well, I can't no, tell. No, that, that was uh, – that's Eli Sailors. Eli was Sailors, it? number Come two. Made that, made that tackle. That a boy, Eli. So a lot yeah, of the two. you one right there as a sophomore. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, lot, that's what we're talking about, experience. Lost the two on the play. Brings up second down and 12. Let's keep an eye on seven, see where he's at. He's From on this side of the field, closest to us. Monterey's 36-yard line. Look, here's the big tall kid. They got three out on the low side here. High end's one kid out. Got one in the backfield. They're looking to Seven throw again, back. and they're throwing long. That's what they're wanting to do. That's a push in the back right there. Yeah, it could you be can't do that. Ball. Interception. Ball. Interception. It is Monterey's ball. And that's Eli Sailors catching turnover. the ball right there. Yeah. Yeah. That is they, a turnover. Yeah. The, 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 the referees. Kids hurt on the field for Harriman right we now. we got an injury timeout. Folks, pray for this young man. He's he's in pretty good pain. Down I think you got the air knocked out of him because – Sailor's inside of him. He played the ball better than the receiver did. Yeah, so be first and ten, Monterey up. has the ball on the, uh, what, about the eight-yard line? Somewhere in there. Their own eight-yard line. He's the kids up walking off the field. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. He might have he might have just fell on, on Sailor's wrong or something. Twisted yeah. ankle, leg, something. Yeah, kind of yeah, limping a little bit. A little bit of contact together there. Might knock the breath out of him, you know. Hey, yeah. there's, there's you a sophomore player for another couple of years. That's great defensive hey, play by Eli Sailor's. I'm telling you, guys. I mean, you couldn't have played that ball no better right there. No. Let me give a shout out to Gary Murphy. Good job, gentlemen. I am proud that to let's see, put my glasses on, Rick. <laughs> yeah, Rick. That, that to see someone broadcasting local games. I am I am from Texas, and here, and have never figured out why someone someone hasn't started broadcasting the local games. So thank you, thank you for tuning in there, Gary. We're going to try to keep this going if we got enough plugs. And yeah, Rick has just recruited a bunch of scrubs to help him out. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Oh, hey. yeah. None of us have a lick of no clue whatsoever what we're doing. We're just we out here support talking. Rick. Yeah. That's no. our motto. We all in this together, guys. I believe we had a Texas viewer during basketball season. Um, did we not have a family that reached out to us and their, maybe their grandson was playing basketball? Was it Texas or Arkansas or uh, Alabama? Somewhere out of Somewhere out of, west, yeah. west we, of Tennessee. Well, you remember last Last week we had one from Arizona. Hey. Scott Riley. Scott Riley, excuse me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we had one from Oklahoma. Yep. And we had uh, the coach from from uh, NIU, Northern yeah. Illinois University. Northern Illinois. Really? Yeah. Wow. Last, last week he, he said, I'm the defensive coordinator from NIU. Could somebody please send me the stats for the defense? Yeah. Hey, hey. So folks, we uh, the, on that Red Bowling game, we like seven views, getting 600 views on that That's wow. awesome. Red Bowling game. So. Kudos to Wildcat Nation. We appreciate y'all supporting us. That's right. Looks like we've had to take a timeout, maybe. We got a spot there, guys. Maybe somewhere's got. I don't have my sheet in front of me. Who we got going on? Take a pick. Uh, what about Monterey Drugs? Yeah. That's... Your hometown pharmacy. They treat you like a neighbor and not just a number. Located in Save a Lot Shopping Center. Uh, on Elmore Street, or just give them a call at 931-839-6777-8-39-6777. Folks, you look at that, that, Brad that look at that score on the scoreboard. That ain't no, that ain't nothing wrong with it. Monterey is uh, taking it to them tonight. Here we are, we're lined up. We got the ball after interception. Eye formation again, a tight set again, JJ. Yeah. Look at him, we're under the center, yep. snapping the ball. Here comes Caden Jones. There's Bowman. There's Bowman, Bowman is running Bowman. through again. He got about a, about six yards there, it looked like. Look yeah. at the mullet. Five yards downfield and pancaked it, the guy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he, he mauled him. And that's one of the linemen, too. Yeah. <laughs> he had him 20 yards off the end, maybe. I don't look for Hughes to lay it up much. He's going to wire that clock out right there. On yeah, the he's, uh, yeah. yeah, he's going he's gonna to milk the clock for sure. Uh, looks like it's a good night for the purple and white again, folks. Yeah, this is kind of a statement game, you know. Harriman's a good team. 
And you but, come out and you put some points on the board like like they're doing. They're moving the ball, playing deep. That's a thirteen turnover on defense. That's they were like a six point favorite coming. We're in running the ball, the ball up the middle. Look at him, all red. No, 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 Bowman. Oh, oh is it Bowman? Another up twenty yard gain, uh, gain up to thirty. Yeah, be first and ten. He, good night. I he, hear coach over there barking. They saying something. Yeah. Bowman has the moves, guys. Yeah. He's got him, I'm telling you. you got to get four hands on him. He's yeah. a natural. He's I don't a know natural. that four hands stops that kid. Did you see him earlier? <laughs> he ran one from the 30-yard line down the field to score, and we're like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a natural. You, you, you. Arm tackles. Yeah. Arm tackles, you cannot do it. you got to wrap that kid up. you got to grab him by the leg or something. Sometimes you grab him by the leg, he slips out of it. Yeah. Well, he has been, that's for well, sure. we got all red in the backfield now. Bowman's taking a breather. So, Brady needs some oxygen as much as he's around. Formation, and there's a play a pass. action pass. Number 10. 10. Up to 21 the yards. 50-yard line, first and 10 for the Wildcats. Mr. Mullet. Yeah. He Carter, Charlton. That, uh, that was a nice play. He doesn't just play defense, guys. He can catch the football. Actually, it's on the 49-yard line. Yeah. Monterey has it first and 10. Here comes and your friend off the field. Harriman. Well, he's got a big old hairdo, don't he? Yeah, I said yeah. he needed a haircut earlier. I, to- I told you earlier some ugliest kids ever seen. That's perfect proof of right there. <laughs> <laughs> Afro guy. He's got hair. He's got a big old Called him head of hair. Anyway, oh, Monterey has it first 45. and 10 on the 49 on the forty nine yard line of the Harriman. Oh, we got timeout or something Blue going on here. I didn't see him. Yeah, it looks like we got a timeout. So we got first Ooh. volunteer bank up, I believe, this Is time. Is somebody about. hurt on the far side? Uh, it looks like it could be, but it's hard to tell. Everybody's on a knee over there. There wasn't no timeout. Yeah, they're getting him up. Oh, it's, so it's, oh, it's uh, here That's he comes, number, number seven. Yeah, it was one of their, t- one of their players. That's number seven. He's, seven he's holding – Something was, that we can't talk about on there. Right. Travis Frazier, it looks like number one for Harriman was shook up on the play. He's coming off the field. Let's see. We've got another chat here, guys. Another shout-out to us from uh, Pedro Chandler. Monterey is the best. I live here for 16 years, and they are the best the best town ever. There we go. Thanks, so, Pedro. Yes. Another, another shout-out for Monterey. Hey, keep them coming in, guys. We love seeing the messages come on the YouTube. We're excited that we get to do it. Maybe next game we'll be able to broadcast and show you the whole game live video. Yep, we're going to try uh, to. It'll be from Monterey, so we can do that for oh sure. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, there, there's, that, that's, that's downtown Jones. Yeah, just up and about he just got tripped yards. up. He could have went For about big two, time. I think. Yeah, and hey, they Carter, just threw, they, a, they threw, just threw a, a flag at Carter Is Carlton. It, yeah, did he just hit him? He I, did. I think uh, he pulled a kick. It looked like he almost got pulled down. No, well, number two and him got tangled up out gonna, here. They're gonna, Carter, Carter they're gonna was call just personal blocking. Foul. Oh, he was blocking? He just blocked him into the ground. And yeah, they're going to call personal foul. Carter did. They're going to back up Monterey 15 yards. Yeah, personal foul. I mean, uh, unnecessary. Unnecessary. That's yeah. the referee's feeling. I'm sorry for the team. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Carter did. I mean, it was a good block. All he did was what well, he's listen, been doing the whole game. Him. That kid hustles all the time. He's, yeah. he's everywhere, that's for sure. The mullet has no has a motor. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should call him the motor instead of the mullet. I don't yeah. know. I think he liked the mullet. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, we'll talk to him and see. We better we better talk to him. He's a lot bigger than us. Who's ever watched the practice? He came out through there and he's about a head taller than me. He yeah. outweighed me by 100 pounds. Moderation that tight. Yeah. They need to stop right, pulling the ball. There, 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 right here. That's all red. Oh, no, all that's red. all red. All red got around the edge and got about two yards. Now I got it by five. Third and 24. Oh, I was looking at the red over there on, yeah. the, on the bleachers. So it would be Third four fourth. and 20 looks like. Yeah. Monterey will probably be punting the ball. Yeah. Yeah, they got sober on the center. Why don't you just drop back and throw one just, just for fun? Yeah. 44 to 18 with a minute and 13 seconds to go in the third. Well, quarter. they always they always line up with the quarterback, you know, as a blocker. So they, I'm sure they have something in the arsenal where they could do what, a direct snap. What's going on in the middle of the field yeah, that's right what here? I'm trying to figure out. You got Charlton there Four close to the. Got some talking going on with the refs. 
So I got some scores real quick while we're waiting here. Cookville 35 to 20 over White County. DeKalb County's beating Watertown 14-6. Livingston Academy 14 to 7 against Upperman. So, wow. Is that a final? No. Clay County 28, Cumberland County 7. seven that yeah. kind of surprises me, Clay County over Cumberland. Well, Cumberland County's been down for a long time. Yeah. I think just Woodstone about every, about every store. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Clay County, they're reloaded this year. They got a sophomore quarterback. That's that's the only thing. So we're lining up to run we're again. Going, yeah, we're going to go for it on third down. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mason Bowman trying the left to cut side. Back. Look at that. Back. He, he cut back and got it up to uh, Look at that. He's running down. He's going to the he's house. Down. He, he broke about 50 tackles, guys. He and made that first turn. And he is a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. That is a touchdown for Mason Bowman. That's a lightning in a bottle, guys, is what that is. Yes, you sir. set him loose, he's gone. That's part of the thunder and lightning, right? There you go. With uh -oh. player on the ground. We got a winded, somebody winded? I don't know, they're holding a the leg. That's Monterey, too. It looks like Soberanus. Now he's got a cramp. That's that's uh, Anthony, Anthony Soberanus, the uh, steamroller. Yeah, he's got cramps. I could see why possibly we weren't allowed to uh, videotape this game. Yeah. Yeah, it show their weakness. Yeah, it could have been, could have been, yeah. Well, yeah, they've got game film, you know, that's, that's something you can always watch. Um, but uh, I can see why nobody would want us up here. Brad Brad Swafford, Joel Swafford, the softball coach, uh, chimed in and said, you guys are sounding great. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Coach Swafford. We appreciate it. Thanks, it's Swaff. The all-star broadcast team. Hey. Thanks, Swaff. We're Rick's crew. Hey, just call us the voice of the Wildcats. Uh, there we go. We're all in this together. There ain't nothing about no Rick. You know, it used to be the, the voice of the balls. You know, we're the voices of the Wildcats. There you go. Voice of the Cats. Hey, we got an injured player on the field. There's 54 seconds left in uh, the third quarter. It's 50 to 18. Monterey's in the lead. I don't see that changing tonight. Um, no matter what might happen. Silveranus is up. He is uh, headed to the sideline. He's walking on his own, so that's a good thing. Maybe he just cramped up and yeah, he just had a cramp. Yeah, had his leg straight out there for a few minutes, and I, I could see that'd be no good. It's Folks, a hot, sticky night here in Middle Tennessee. As you can see on the scoreboard, we've got 54.2 seconds to go in the third quarter. Monterey's up 50 to 18 over a team that was ranked above them. Monterey are seven-point underdogs in this game. That's yeah. That's what I last the last uh, last prediction I saw. That's that's what it, that's what I seen. Can you bet on high school football? No, you cannot. No, I was about to say that that you would have been a good bet. JJ, we're going to tell you no. You may not. Well, I'm the mayor. I know hey, you still can't. Okay. On, on Coach T, I seen one <laughs> one member. Can you be betting for Monterey? Gail? Yes. Really? Well, I don't I don't bet anyways. I don't even play the lottery. I don't want to let, let, let people know who that was. but Yeah, we hey, we're lining up to run the ball here. We're going to go for a two-point conversion. Yep. we got a tight set here. We're under center. We snap the ball. It's, and that's a Eli Saylor's number two, it looks like, got it. Just short. Then. Yeah, he's short. short. He Come didn't make it in. About a yard short. That yeah, was uh, Michael Allred. Oh, was it Allred? Yep. It's hard to see two and eight on those uniforms. Yeah, it's, and we're quite a ways away from the field, too. Well, I hope they got oxygen on the other side because the way the Bowman has ran away tonight, I'm sure he's going to be That's winning. That's crazy. How many yards has he got over there, Barry? About 825. 825. Uh, yeah, like I, it. Uh, you, you take me an hour to add all in love. <laughs> what has he got? Four touchdowns? Yeah, four, four touchdowns tonight, I think. Going to have to get you a That's calculator right. over there. So, yeah. Barry, Barry, are you going to change your, your player of the game vote? Well... I'll tell you what, out there. I'll vote for Bowman this week, out there, because last week I got a little bit overruled, so yeah. I <laughs> warned him last week. <laughs> yep, yep, he go yeah. he go through with Bowman. So we'll we'll uh we'll make this official probably during the post game show. But, but this and here's no denial. Looks like denial. it's uh Mr Mr. Mason Bowman. Player of the game up here in Harriman, Tennessee. Hey, you can't contain lightning, that's all I'm gonna he, say. He is running away from it. Sorry for the bad pun. Literally running away, right? Yeah. yeah. He's one of the hardest backs that I've seen in a long time to catch. Yeah. 
I mean, you can't you can't hardly keep your hands on him. He's slick. He gets he, he just spins right off of you. I so, mean, that play right there, he just scored that touchdown on. They was probably what five or six players. Yeah, they had a hold of the whole they had team. A hold of him. The whole team. He had breaks a hold out of the other side and he's gone. Yeah, and they, hey, he's off to the races. Ain't nobody gonna catch him. And, it, and folks, you didn't see that, but he turned a flip in the end zone. Did he? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. He got right at the end of the turn to flip. He did a backflip. I think that little, uh, the one little guy that was chasing him hit him, but yeah, he turned the flip and got in the end zone. So that was awesome. Hey, I had a a uh, listener message me said Mason Bowman has tunnel vision for the end zone. That no, kid no. is a beast. He we got a different kickoff because yeah. over on us. Uh oh. Oh, that's a left leg kicker. Did you see? Oh, that? Wow. Ted. Oh, yeah, he's got to get hit right there. Come on, and put him down, fellas. It looks like we're going to have it about up to about the 41-yard yeah, down. Looks down like down we're putting down. some freshmen in the ball game, which that, is a good thing. That was Abner Felix that kicked that ball. Yeah, they've been squib kicking it. I watched them in practice a couple yeah, that's, times. Yeah, that's the first time we've called his name. Yep. It looks like we still got starters in there. Uh, yeah, a few there, there, but, there, but few not many. There's 21 back in the game. Here comes Silveranus. Probably number, a few more minutes. Number man. 70 is a senior, and I can't the think The mullet's out there. Yeah, here's uh, Caden Jones. Chandler Bowden's on the field. Byron Borjas is out there. Looks like um, oh, he's played more tonight than he did last week. Number 70 is. That is Samuel Aguilar. It's a, Yeah, Aguilar. Yeah, he's a senior. Yeah, I, I talked, I think, to these brothers. Well, on, let's go see if they run the ball. They're spreading it out a little bit, trying to get some number seven still in. Oh, delay a game. Okay, guys. I, that I, is. Dead ball. Delay a game against yep. the Blue Devils. Yep. It's five yards back. Delay a game five against the Blue Devils. Uh, Miss, Miss uh, Lisa Henry got on here and said Mason, Mason Bowman loves to be called Macy Baby. Macy Baby. Macy Baby. I'm going to refrain she, from yeah. calling him Macy Baby. I, I don't well, want him chasing me or me it, having to chase him. So that, That's her aunt. I mean, his aunt. Oh, that so, is. Okay. okay. Yeah, she can talk. She, she can say that. Really bad, she I guess. can call him that, but we ain't going to. She said it makes him run faster. So uh -oh. Yeah, after us. Yeah. Harriman snapping the ball here. They're handing they off. Hand off, and they've got it contained. Is, yeah, they're they're contained. contained. Oh, they're contained. They're contained. They're mops not, up not on it. Number over. 12. Number 12 There's and number 8. Five, five yard loss? Yeah. No, a yard loss. Yeah, they yard. had all, that. all red. That, that was a great tackle. Borjas and all red. And that looks that like one. the last play of the, the quarter. Of the quarter, yeah. Well, how Coming come up we got multiple quarter? years we keep yelling Borjas? We got that name just multiple times. You notice that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. That family's producing some good athletes. For and they're Monterey, big kids, That's too. exactly right. They're not little. Yeah, I think uh, I think Byron's got uh, Kevin um, by an through. inch or so. Yeah. yeah. There it looks like they're trying to run one more, run one more play. And they got it off. Number four and back in the oh, shotgun. Look at this. And he's oh, oh, man. you got to a a big, big sack. sack. Big sack. Can I say, can I say what uh, – that's uh, what's his name see. for the Titans radio? Sack! Yeah, 53, 54, and that was Grant Hoover. 63 on the tackle there in the backfield. That was Grant Hoover, Josiah Denver Maddox, Smith. What was that? About 15 yard loss, Barry? I believe so. Yep. Now, now, uh, Coach uh, Coach Mayer, it it is third down in Rockwood. Okay, but they're fixing to flip it, so yeah, it be. Third down in Chattanooga. Ray hey, County. Yeah, hanging on. <laughs> Auburn Springs. <laughs> yeah, Auburn well, well, Springs is back that way, right? Yeah. Well, they're, yeah, they're this going is, this way. This is south. That's Yeah. Yeah, but they're, that's they're fixing to flip the field. I oh, think. yeah. Yeah. We had a we had a good friend of ours, one of the uh, junior high basketball coach, Mr. Joey Hoover. He's the one who turned us on to us. Did he? Yeah. That's first fun. first down, five, Vines Ridge. Yeah. Oh, Joey. <laughs> Well, listen, we could say this one's uh, first down at Roan State, the far back they are. That's oh, I know. not going to yeah. matter. Yeah, it looks like it's third down and 30, 35. Yeah, pretty 36, close. 36, I huge, think, is on the sack. They've not changed the scoreboard up there. So, Monterey defense. None of us can take our shoes off and count on our toes because it's, it's, it's a long ways. Yeah. It's well, the big receiver, number 19, enters the game for Harriman. So does number seven. So number if six. they spread out and throw a flat-out pass here, that, that wouldn't be a surprise to me. they got Dubois in the ball game. Hey, guys, uh, 
Mr. You know, David Walker. Hey, you're talking about Bowman right there. He's got a little brother coming up there. Oh, that yeah. That be here next year. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. he, he's, a good, he's a good ball player, too. I used to watch both of them in junior pro, and they were kind of dominant just like Mason is now. Well, they were the team. Yeah. They were the team. You, you, you saw when, when uh, Makai was playing with them. He, Makai played with them. Yeah. He, Bowman was the team. Yeah. Third in the country mile for the Harriman Blue Devils. They're going for the back pass. To pass and almost picked off, but that's Rex Boy, number six. Number six. Hey, that's Rex Boy. Who picked it up? Oh, right right Fifty. Fifty-five for the Wildcats. Picks How about it up. Hudson Thompson? Thompson. Fifty-five. Another, Hudson Thompson, fifty-five. Another Look turnover. Look at number six. Well, he's probably doing what he does best. Houghton. Yeah. That would have been. Talk, been see? There was helmet on the ground. Yeah. That would have been a, a close to first down, guy, if he had fumbled that ball. Uh, he had about six, seven yards more to go. So Monterey has it first and ten from the 46 Four. yard line of the Harriman Blue Devils. He, he's having a bad day. I guess we need to give him a break. What do you think, David Derek? Walker's in. Never. Taylor Murphy's in. Yeah. Number yeah. 11. Cason yeah, right. Riley's in. It looks like you're playing some underclassmen here to help out. Bunch of scout let's, team over here. Yeah, there. let's see what happens here. Do we see Makai Henry in Time there? Timeout, Monterey. Time uh, out, Monterey. It's about time. Yep. Yeah, there he is. I mean, you're 26. We're 26. Up, we're up 50 to 18 here, so. Timeout, Monterey. 11, just barely into the, the, the fourth quarter. Scout teams in. Yeah, first play of the first fourth quarter. The first play of the fourth quarter was a fumble. Yep, it sure was. So it makes me question whether that really hurt or helped Monterey not playing the first two games of the year. Like you think they'd be rusty? Yeah, they but they're ready. They are rolling. Right what now what if they did in. play those first two games? I know that's what I'm saying. Like wow. You know, like, and of course they, it was uh, Sail Creek and, and Lookout Valley. Yeah, them should have been real easy games for us yeah. to start with. That would have been some tune-up games for sure. And we got Pickett County next week. So, and then the week after that, Jackson County. Then that's going to be that's going to be the game right there. These boys, these boys hadn't even seen a scrimmage game. So no, tell what no, they played. No. They, well, Red Bull and Springs was their scrimmage, I believe. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, let's, seven, seven minutes and scored 44 points. Hey, Let's get some. Um, Makai's back to take the snap. He's uh, a little snap. high, but look here. They're in the backfield on number six, whoever that is. That's, That's Aiden uh, Reagan. Picks that is, how do you pick a kid up and sling him like that? That's Aiden That's Reagan. That's Aiden Reagan. Yeah. You do he's when a, you're on the Harriman field. He's yeah. A, he's a freshman, Aiden is. Well, probably a senior kid picking well, they, him up and throwing him like that. They still got well. their starters in. Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't have much more to hang out over here. Monterey. Uh, Lost about five on that one, so. He fumbles the ball. Makai picks it up and then blows, yeah. the, blows the ball dead. It looked like a fumble. Well, the way he slammed him to the ground, I'm surprised. Well, he hit the ground, and the ground caused a fumble. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's high snap there in the backfield again. Oh, Makai's running with it. On the He's loose. getting out. He's got six yards out of that. Yeah, that, yeah back up that almost the original on. line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's a way to make something out of nothing. We're, we're seeing kind of the same thing we saw last week. One snap would be on the ground, one snap would be for high. The, yeah, for the scout so, team. So we got second and uh, third, third and 13 for the Wildcats on the 49 yard line. 49. Yep. Third down, Makai Henry, number 26 back there for the Cats. At the quarterback, Aiden Reagan's the backfield. Got twins on both sides. High snap again. Throws the ball yeah, out. Nobody there. pass. And Misses number nine, hits number 13 in the feet. Right in the uh, So he's incomplete pass. Be fourth down and 13 for that, the Cats. I, I don't know what, what happened right there. Looks like they're going to punt. Wildcats going to punt. That was. Um, I think he's two receivers in the same area, and they run. I, I think somebody got kind of little. I forgot what they call it when you stick your arms out for you gonna get hit and pull them back real quick. Yeah, <laughs> that that looks like what happened. Well, we had him a little screen pass going yeah. on there. He uh, ra it, nine wrapped around thirteen was wide open. Yeah, if he would called it, he he might have scored. That's Oberonis back there for the punt. Yes, it's and on the ground. He kicked it anyway. Yeah. Wow, well, about a twenty-five yard. 
He puts punch. it up and get, puts a soccer 30, style kick on it. Yeah. 32 That's yard impressive. line, roughly. 34 yeah. is what they're saying. They gained about 15 yards on that punt. Yeah, that was, they were in his face, and he still got rid of it. Yeah, yeah that takes a real strong guy to, back, to yeah. pick that up and soccer kick that sideways like that for about 30 yards. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be in the way of that leg. No, I don't no. want to. Me neither. I'm going to end up with a t- Looks broken like tailbone. Looks like our starting defense is back out until Harriman re- you know, takes the hint and pulls out some other kids. They've been uh, running. They're going to they, see. Yeah, they, it looks like they're they got some new kids like going in. Yeah, in a now. lot of new kids coming in there. Yeah, so yeah their studs are over here. Number one, six, nine. Yeah, well. Yeah, four. Monterey's. He's pulling one of them. Number 50. Is that Chandler? Come in. Number 50 come in for uh, Carter Charlton. Carter so Charles. he's out. Next play, we'll probably see another bunch. Uh-oh. And Uh-oh. they got Uh-oh. him in, in the backfield. Back he's got number by the shirt tail. Caught him by the shirt tail, and there's about an eight-yard loss there for the. Who's that number? Number 55, wasn't it? 53. Yeah, 55. That's Hudson, Hudson Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, Grant Hoover's 53. I don't think was he in. That's Hudson no. Thompson right there. Yeah. 53. 55 is who it is. So he's got his back to us right there. Yeah. Number 70's in. Samuel Aguilar. Number 63's in. Okay. Josiah Maddox. I can't tell the far side over there. Scout team's in. I think it's 63 guy. Hit him. But anyway, they got him in the backfield and got about eight yard loss. Second down and 18, and the ball what? is dropped on the ground, and they got him again. Okay. 70 Carter. Samuel Aguilar Carter. was there. All right, Samuel Aguilar, yeah. Yeah, that's Charlton's out. The mullet, he's over there on the sidelines taking a break. Yeah, the mullets. I think 70 they might look be. a lot alike, don't they? Yeah. He may be a yeah. senior, but he don't play on the starting team. Right. He's a big he's a Yeah, big, Samuel he's a big Aguilar, he's a, he's a big guy. Yeah. 77 over there is not little either. No, That's right. Dustin Hernandez. Yeah, those scouts. But they're, they're Listen, 74. 74. You're, you're only as good as your scout team plays. That's James Henry. So okay. That's my that's my family there, my dad. Yeah. That's what his name was. Third down and 19. Looks like Taylor Blue Murphy's Devil. here on the low side with us, and number 12 out there. Is that Borja? No, that's not Borja. So maybe that's 13. 13 is who it is. No, no, Dubois okay. got a tackle. Yeah, Dubois. 21. David Gained about Walker. nine yards, so it'll be fourth down and hey guys, that that uh, James Henry, that's uh, Willie Henry's uh, adopt. Uh, he's raising, he raises that boy. Okay, okay. There we yeah, go. Will, Willie does. Hey, we got Nicholas Wiley out in the backfield as well. We got hey, these fourth. guys. We got to give them a shout out. Jaden McCants is out there. We got some kids that uh, don't ever play much. You don't, don't, you don't hear their name, ton, and then you don't hear their name. We want to make sure they hear it. Like somebody maybe listening knows that uh, we see them out there. Yeah. Got a timeout here, guys. Uh, they got a lot of reps last week, you know. Oh, yeah. From the first quarter on. Alex Montejo's out there. Saw him, number 16. You know, and this only gets them better. Absolutely. Sure it you does. know, you, you got a kid you got to lean on at the end of the year or even the next year. I mean, that's that's the kid you lean on. I mean, we're playing a scout team against a scout team right now, and our guys are dominating. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, on defense, for sure. Of course, now that I think offense what guys, is a struggle. Our scout team got three and a half quarters last yeah. week. Wow! Pretty much. I mean, they played the rest of the game, and the, and Red Boyden wouldn't have scored if it hadn't been for that pass interference. Yeah, because they had been like third in the mile. Mm-hmm. Hey, I want to tell you about something real fast before they get going again. A one Auto Repair, expert repair, everything from battery exchanges to complicated engine repairs. You can call them at 931-839-3013. 839-3013. Ball game's back in action here. They're snapping the ball to punt. Oh, oh, it's blocked. It was blocked. It was blocked. I don't know who blocked it. We've come up with it, I believe. 70, uh, 50. Uh, 50. 50. Number 50 blocked it. Well, that's Monterey. Right. Monterey's got the ball on It looks like about the... 29, 28 yard 28 line. yard line. Israel Roth comes up with a block punt. Hey, we like that. He Shows was. those kids hustling there. Hey, now. He, he came straight up, straight up the middle. Nobody touched him. Our defense on both sides. I mean, the, the scout team and the first team both has played played their pretty good ball this tonight, guys. Yeah, Makai Henry comes back in with the play. Let's let's see, get a good snap right here. It'd be nice for the scout team to go down and score one. Yeah, they? got twins on both sides for the cats. In that pistol formation, they keep shot hands and off they, to Aiden Reagan yeah. and got to eat up right there at the line of scrimmage. He's still Today. going, but he lost about three yards. Aiden give it a good try. I mean, he's yeah. he's hustling. I give him that. He's well, giving he's giving it effort. 
Well, when you got three guys on you, it's hard to do anything. They're hitting him by the time he gets the ball. Yeah. You got no hole there. Hole's that's, closing up that, before he gets to it. And that's one thing we saw last week with um, our young offensive linemen here. They're they're not holding their blocks and, and not allowing the backfield to have time to do anything. So that's one thing they could get stronger on. They'll, they'll learn as they get more more reps. It's just coaching opportunities. Yeah, you know, exa- exactly. Second down. You know, a lot of that team. you can change up just with quarterback Dude play. Going in motion and he comes around the right in and He's uh, still moving. three or four tackles. Yeah. Do boys down to about the 20, 26 yard line. So he he got a lot of that back. Yeah, he got about ten yards. Look like it'd be third down and we got back. Well. A little bit past the line scrum. Be third down nine. Yeah. He, um, you put some of those kids under center, and they get those extra steps to be able to move backwards away from the line. Yeah. It creates a little more momentum for them later on when they figure out that, hey, I can take one from the yeah. shotgun and not have to be so nervous. I can dodge a little bit, still plant my feet and throw. Right. Right, yeah. But it's invaluable to get them under center. Yeah. That was uh, David Walker, number 21, Dubois. He ran yeah. the same play last week for him. Yep. The end of round, there's a, there's there's a, a pass. There's a pass. Wiley. Pass. Wiley. Wiley, yeah. Wiley got down. He, he got almost got a first down. Six or seven pass. yards see, out of that. See, that's, that's one of the they first good it. snaps we've seen. Yes. That, and gave Makai time to make a pass. And the pass was right on the money, yeah. too. And that's what we saw last week with Makai. If he had time to throw, he threw a good ball. Is it fourth and two? Are they going to go for it or are they going to punt? Yeah, it depends on this punt. I mean, this. I think right. they're going to go for it. Oh, we got to hold it. Is that, is that the holding flag? There's a flag over there. Oh. It'll be holding against Monterey. Wow. Yep. Yeah, they'll hell. probably back them up, I they're guess. They're probably calling it on Wiley. They need somebody to pick on. <laughs> yeah, he was, he's yeah, ball he was carrier. the ball carrier. Yeah. yeah. They're going to back us up. Uh, home cooking, guys. We're yeah, it's all right. I, that's okay. It I do have a final two report here. Okay, what you got? That would be Marvel. Merville. 14, Alcoa 9. Ooh. Did you say Merville? Merville. Merville. 14 to Merville. 9. Upset. Beat yeah, that's an upset. Of course, Merville is a, what, a 5, 6A school, and Alcoa is a 3A. They're, yep. they're, what, 19 state championships they have? Yeah. They're something else. Mackay. High snap, but look at Mackay running keeper. the ball. Yeah, he's. And he got, he got a few yards. Yeah, he got, he got about two or three yards. It'd be fourth down for the Cats, and it looks like they're probably going to go for it. That's six minutes and 21 point, seconds to go in this it. quarter. Yeah, yeah. they're running time off the clock now. 50 to 18 is the score. Monterey's still, still and not lost the lead all game long. So We've had 270 views, guys. Awesome. On That's this, good. On this away game up here. Now, I've sweated about 270 ounces off this game. Yeah, we I need a we I need sweat a big time when everything would, would work. I mean, it just poured off me like water. I mean, it's 9 o'clock up here, and it's still a sign in this yeah. in this box. Well, they said he was going Long to pass. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Pass intended for number five, it looks like. Number nine, I think. Oh. Yeah, number Taylor nine. Taylor Murphy. That and they, was, <laughs> they wasn't anything called on that. That could have been passing for him. It, yeah, cl- it was close. That was – he threw the ball right on the money. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was, the, I think, the first time he's had time to drop back, set his feet, and throw a ball. That I mean, he couldn't throw a better ball right there. Of course, we knew he was going to be a good quarterback. Yeah. He comes from good stock, don't he, over yeah. there, Barry? Well, he comes from the tree guy stock. Yeah. All he worries about being good is his daddy. Some yeah. Some days. All right. Yeah. We watched his daddy play back in the day. He was another one you couldn't bring down. He reminded me a lot of uh, Aaron. I mean, uh, Mason reminds me a lot of Michael, the way he moves. Yeah. Somebody's yelling, get in the box over there. I don't know what's happening, but. First and ten point. for the Harriman Blue Devils. Uh, and we got a looks like flag star star all over everywhere. A lot of laundry on the field. And been on the Blue Devils. Looks like yeah. five yards. False start. Five yards. You would think. You would think with us being up by thirty-two points, and have a running clock at this point. Six more, they will. So if Monterey can score another touchdown, it'd be a running clock. Okay. They, they Thirty-eight got, points. Turn it back on. Yeah, that spot the ball. So it is a running clock. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of. They stop it when they. The ball. The other night it run the whole time. Yeah. 
Drops the ball. And they got Probably. Monterey just clobbered him in the backfield. It may be an inter- Number yeah, 70 a- again. Looks like he's in the backfield. That's Samuel Aguilar. Aguilar. Yeah. The senior. That's right. Yeah, fumble recovered by the Blue Devils. Yep, that was on the ground. That's for sure. Seventy's living in their backfield. Probably going to live in their dreams tonight, too, yeah. a little bit if I had to bet. Mm-hmm. Also have a, another uh, final come in. So, uh, Joe Burns scores a touchdown with 11 seconds left in the game to win 21-20. to 20. Oh. Wow. Really over Houston against Houston. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Just got to check out and see what Houston can do. Right in the backfield back field before the ball A lot carried. of white shirts on oh, the ball and they 11. White shirts There's, all over. Yes. Aiden Reagan, who was 11. 11 is, is Casey Riley. Number nine was only. Yeah. Casey yeah, Riley put a lick on him, stood him up. and that Taylor three. Murphy came in and cleaned up there at the end. Oh, yeah. So another loss on the play. Now, Casey Riley's another young guy that I used to watch play ball. He's a good little ball player, too. Him and Micaiah and um, Aiden, all them boys play together. Yeah, they're right there at Mason's age. Yeah. Yeah, they're you're younger than him. Well, now you got you know Blaylock, Luke Blaylock's gonna come up next year. Plus you got you Logan know Montgomery. Elrod, Elrod, uh, Logan Montgomery, Cyrus Farley. Hey, Cyrus. We're gonna be loaded up with freshmen next year too. Oh, oh, he almost bobbled that ball. Right. 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 There, he yeah, didn't call it. Got the quarterback out of bounds. He threw it out of bounds. So it'll be fourth down and 18. He, he spun, uh, what was it, Aguilar? He yeah. spun him all the way around. Yeah, he had him. Wasn't that an uh, ineligible receiver? <laughs> that was an ineligible everything I mean, on that play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it fixed to call. say. He, he, there wasn't nobody there, I don't think. This is, this is let the clock run, fellas. Yeah. Fourth down for the Harriman. Blue Devils, and they may be going for it, guys. Yeah, this is keep the laundry in the basket right this here. This would be on the 24-yard line. So if the Cats get a stop here, we're in pretty might good see shape. The, might see the might see the, the scout team score one here. Oh, oh they got oh, the field. That's a loss of about six hammered. yards. He didn't get that off. That's a Samuel that's Aguilar in the Thomas backfield. Thomas Sebastian. Thomas oh, Thomas they, Sebastian. Man. We hadn't called his name tonight either. Drilled him in the backfield. Yeah, he I mean, hammered they, that kid. They Turnover on downs. Monterey has it at the 21-yard line, first and 10. That kind of looked like our starters against Red Bull and Spring starters last week. Yeah, it really did. Yeah. And as fast as they were in the backfield, they, I mean, they about took the handoff from him. So we got how many yards to the purple zone, Neil? Uh, it looks like. Well, let me check it. We're on the 21-yard line right now. So we got 21 yards to go. Well, we got a one yard one to, the, yard purple to zone. the purple zone. Oh, we need a tur- purple zone sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. There you go. So, hey, we got somebody out there. there watching. We need a purple zone sponsor. Bass snap again. Bass snap again. And Aiden Reagan got hit in the backfield and lost a yard. When they're doing that running play with the with that snap, that that high when he has to throw hesitate, it, throw it throws the time timing off. Pull it down. That throws the timing off. If uh, my guy was short, he'd hike it over his head. Yeah. If that would have been an on on you know on time snap right there, hit him in the in the hands like it's supposed to. Aiden had that outside lane. He could have went. Can you imagine? He's, yeah. My yeah, guy's a tall, tall kid. Yeah. He's like six one or two. You know, the ball nearly was head high on him or more. Yeah, they got to work on the snap, that's for sure. they got to get it down. Take a yard, Hey, take a step back. Take a yard step back. Yeah. Yep. There you go. And the solves pistol, a lot of the problem. The kid can keep snapping the same way. Twins on both sides. McKay hits pass out there to oh, uh, Aiden he Reagan. He fumbled. fumbled the ball. And looks like Harriman recovered, by the Blue Devils. Re- recovered the ball. That's, that's the first turnover of the season for Monterey. Yeah, it really is. So how much would a sponsor be for the Purple Zone uh, sponsor? Uh, we'll talk about that. Let's get through the game and stuff, and we'll talk about that later. If you got one that somebody's interested in that, we'll, we'll talk to them for sure. Hey, we're back on defense with a minute and seven seconds left. Clock kicked back on, and we are uh, anticipating a big win here for Monterey tonight. It's 50-18. to 18. Uh, We've got our second – I guess teams in right now. The, Monterey's they, in the backfield yeah. before the ball is. Yep, and there oh, and he got quarterback for a sack. He he took him for a ten yard loss. Yeah, and so uh, Israel Roth. 
Wow, look at that Listen, loss. Those kids are going to play hard. 18. Yeah. Probably got room for about one more play, guys, and it's going to wind yeah. it down. You know, this is where these guys get playing time, and they, they want to make the most of it. They don't yeah. want to – they don't want to just coast, you know, while the upperclassmen, you right. know, build a lead. They want to play hard. So It's getting real close to time for Rick to sing. Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. You, you know what, it's, what? You guys want to hear that song? Of course we do. Turn out the lights. The party's over. Monterey oh, come to Harriman. Miss Q again. And kind oh. of. There you go. They wrap him up there. That's going to do it. Kind of took, That's a ball game, folks. Took, took the Blue Devils to the woodshed tonight, didn't they? I believe That's, so. Did they not? They did. That's the last play of the game, folks. We'll be back uh, with a post-game show. Let's uh, hear a word from our sponsors and while we get our, everything together. And we'll be right back after a word from them. At First Volunteer Bank, we're not just a community bank. We're a bank that's here for our community. We know our customers by name and treat them like family. And we're here to serve our community however we can. Whether it's teaching financial literacy in our local schools or collecting and donating thousands of canned food items each year to local food banks, we're a part of your community. If you're looking for a community banking relationship, we make it easy for you to switch because we're here to help you every step of the way right down to a local person on the other end of the phone to assist you when you need it. First Volunteer Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Call the Tree Guys today for all your tree cutting and trimming needs. They offer tree removal at the customer's request. They give senior discounts. They even have 24-hour service available. And they do jobs for insurance claims. They are fully licensed and insured with over 10 years experience. Just give the Tree Guys a call today. 931-267-6191. 931-267-6191. The Thornton Agency is an independent insurance agency representing over 20 companies and are able to tailor the right plan to every need at the best possible rate. Their number one goal is to provide quality service. Their mission is to build long-lasting relationships, not just mere clients. They're located at 418 East Broad Street, Suite D1 in Cookville. Give Josh a call today at 931-252-4659. That's 931-252-4659. Neighbors Helping Neighbors, that's what the VEC Customer Share Fund accomplishes. Participating customers round up their monthly bill to the nearest dollar. The extra money goes into a shared fund that supports Monterey High School sports and academics, as well as other community projects throughout the VEC service area, making Monterey and surrounding communities even better places to live. Make your change count and sign up for the VEC Customer Share Program. If you're looking for an honest, dependable, and experienced shop to have your vehicle repaired, check out A1 Auto Repair just outside of Monterey on Highway 70. Bill, Tim, and Kurt have the knowledge and experience to handle almost any auto repair you may have. From wiper blades to major engine repair, they provide expert and reasonable solutions to keep your vehicle on the road. Go by and see them the next time your auto needs maintenance or you have a problem. Call them at 931-839-3013. That's 931-839-3013. One three, go cat! At Monterey Drugs, our focus is on you. You're not just a number, you're a neighbor. We'll get to know you so we can give you the personal service you deserve. Monterey Drugs, your hometown pharmacy. Proud sponsors of Monterey High School. Located on Elmore Street, right next door to the dollar store. Just give them a call at 931-839-6777. 931-839-6777. We're wishing the best for Monterey High School sports and academics. IDK Cafe, located at 124 East Commercial Avenue in Monterey, are proud supporters of the Wildcats. Check out their Facebook page at IDK-CAFE for an up-to-date menu as well as daily specials with their newest menu item being the Wildcat Burger Combo. They're open Tuesday and Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., Thursday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Jenny and her staff would like to encourage every Monterey student to be the best they can be at academics as well as athletics. Go so by and see them today at the corner of Chestnut and Commercial or give them a call at 9 that's 931-584-0214. Hey, welcome back to our post-game show. 
where Monterey has beat Harriman 50 to, to I can't get to see. Is that 18? Yeah. 50 to 18. 50. Yes, sir. I can't hardly see. I ain't got my glasses on. But uh, but they took them to Woodshed tonight. Yep. I, I, I don't know if our statisticians have have how many yards that. They're still Mr. ciphering, I believe. That uh, the truck Bowman had tonight. I, I don't, I don't know, know if his calculator would go that high. I don't know, but he he had a lot. So. Yeah, he did. He got him, and he had one run there for what about ninety yards. Yeah, that'd be all purpose yards. Yeah, all purpose yards. Run kick back, return. and then rushing, he probably had 150, 200. Yeah, I'd say he close yeah. two hundred that game. Yeah. We go what, back four or five touchdowns. Yeah, at least I, we'll go back through the the yeah, the, the film and 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 get some firm stats. Well, listen, you can't contain lightning in a bottle. When no, it comes no. out, it's it's shooting out of there. So, Bowman looked like that all night long. Yeah, and then uh, look at Michael Lawred, though. I know. I was about to say, when, he comes, in, look good. when yeah, he comes yeah. in the game to spell Bowman, it's yeah. a nice little change of pace. It's, uh, you know? he's, a lot, he's, he's quite a bit quicker. They're yeah. very similar, though, the way they run. You know yeah. what? Sit, I mean, sit yeah, a lot of yeah they're, 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 they're fluid. Front. Picked up that interception there right there, and in, in the, I think in the first quarter, into the first quarter there. Yeah, he, so Bronis. Yeah. 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 He played a good game. He played a good game too. I mean, and uh, our defense, you know, they they did a lot. You know, we was playing a little bit off, I think, on our secondary a little bit too far, but other than that, we took care of business. I think. Yeah. Well, they 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 saw the film, and I think the one that they sent them sent them was Wartburg's Wartburg. Wartburg, yes. Wartburg. Wartburg. Anyway, they eat them up, Harriman yeah. did. So it was a different. Um, well, I mean, that was a different look in Coalfield. You know? Yeah, yeah. Coalfield beat them, and so did Kingston. But, you know, oh. hey, hey uh, they came in and did pretty good against a, a Coalfield last week. Harriman did. And, you know, and then Monterey comes right in here and, and you know, and blows them get, out gets on the business took care of you right on the home field, especially yeah. homecoming, you know. Yeah, it's uh, it was a, it was definitely a game. They 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 scored the wrong game for the homecoming, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe they did. I mean, I, evidently, I didn't I didn't get to come to practice after Monday. Evidently, Scott Hughes right there got their attention. <laughs> I went a couple of times, and they they looked really good. And yesterday through the walkthrough, they were they was like a machine. I mean, it it was great. It was great to watch. I mean, he he was he was pretty much ready to give up and and throw his hands up and leave on Monday. Yeah, I talked to him Monday afternoon and. And uh, yeah, it seemed like nothing was going right, team. you know. So, uh, our our player of the game is going to be sponsored by IDK Cafe. Yep, yep. Got a wild a wildcat burger combo it's coming. Got a, number four. So number four. I'm not going Mason to Bowman. I, I, this week. I, I think it goes without saying that Mason Bowman is probably going to be our MVP. We don't have to vote on that, do we? No. Agreed. Yep. I, I'm not saying a word. I agree wholeheartedly <laughs> with it. That's I said that in the first quarter. That's yeah, a good call. A, I believe that was a no-brainer, guys. So uh, it uh, it was a great game, especially for purple and white. And uh, congratulations, Mason Bowman. I'm, and I, I I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's probably gonna be the State Farm Player of the game. I mean, not State Farm, the Farm Bureau Player of the game too. Yeah, Coach picks it, picks yeah. it, picks that one, don't he? So yeah, yeah. Was, uh, Larry, let me know right quick. He did he did do the pick. He left the coach. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, we was having that conversation earlier about Mason, you know, and you was talking about back in the 2001. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, can I say any more? Uh, he was uh, all-region first uh, fre freshman. Now, he, many freshmen no. make all-region. No. Now, he might have been all-state as a freshman if he, had, he broke his ankle, wouldn't yeah. he? Yeah. My boy yeah. Michael, he, made, he, he, was, he was there three times. He didn't make it his freshman year. Yeah, we got a, got a special kid there in, in uh and he, Mason else, Bowman, number four, for sure. You know, we lost a lot of good players from last year, too. And the way these kids come out, I mean, you had all-state all safety in Jordan Key. Well, yeah. And he was now. a quarterback. You had a receiver there, all-state yeah. receiver. And that shows you. Yeah. Kevin Borhoff. And he went, he got a college scholarship. Yeah, to, to, to Marvel. They're putting some. Mar <laughs> Marvel College. I mean, they're putting <laughs> some big together there. when you got yeah. four, four seniors, yeah. you know, up there on the line, you know. When you can do what you did tonight with four seniors, yeah, you know, really, you're guys, bonding good. They were loaded. They were loaded. We were loaded up last year with seniors, mm -hmm. and you'd think it may be a rebuilding year. And actually, that's what Coach Hughes told me Monday night. Yeah, I don't but see looks that. Like they're clicking right along. Looks like they've done a pretty good job build, uh, rebuilding. I don't see much of a letdown. No, no, they they, and they took the. I mean the the 
the scout team come in about what middle ways through the third quarter? Not fourth quarter. Right at the fourth quarter, right. they, they guys, played the whole fourth. Something. Yeah, they uh, played the whole fourth quarter. Matthew's done a good job right there, stepping in where Jordan did last year. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'll give you Matt for that, that's what I was going to say. He he's came in and he's he's played well. He's played yes, really he well. He's don't have the wheels that 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 Jordan did. No. But or he don't have the wheels that Hunter Davis had. But he's getting him. there. But he's got four or five other ones that does have the yeah. wheels, and he gets them to the gets the ball to them, and that's that's the, that's the difference maker. He they threw some pretty balls in that too. Unfortunately, some of them wasn't caught, but. Well, yeah. guys, we got anything else we want to talk about? We got a pretty good drive home. Yeah. Now listen, I can't wait for next week. It's yeah, homecoming right. week for Monterey. Yep. They, I know they're celebrating. They're ready to go. Uh, they've taken on Pickett County. The Bobcats are coming in to play us, and uh, I look forward to seeing a big homecoming. W on the court. Yeah, yeah it's homecoming. homecoming. Yep. So that's a big deal for the school. Monterey um, could be right on their record to get another another W. Yeah. Uh, loss free season. Yeah. Well, well, who knows anymore? You know how that works. You just mm -hmm. you can't depend on. You just got to play the game. The kids have to play it out. So yeah. uh, yeah. I, I want to thank Neil again for coming on board. With oh us. yeah, I Neil. mean it's been he did a great job. On, on the I mean, always on the does. Plate. What a, what a tremendous asset. You know he can out talk me. That's that's hard to do. Uh, yeah, Listen. especially if we can get this uh, producer guy over here to do his stuff right. Hey, thank you though. We've I appreciate to, you letting me set in with you. Well, we're glad to have you, Neil. I, uh, I hopefully. Can't, I, Rick talked to me first game, first junior high game, wanting me to come up for a little bit, and then Barry about halfway through the game said he's hired. <laughs> yeah. I, said, I said, "What am I getting paid?" And they're like, "Same pay as I get." That's yeah. Nothing. That's the big goose. Well, egg. that's yeah. But it's worth it. I enjoyed it. You know, being the mayor, I have stuff going on all the time, and I've only been the mayor for three days. But this is but relaxing for th you. This, this is a this is a chance for me to get away and not think about none of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. You see so, the good side of Monterey right yeah. here. You know? That's the important yeah. side right there. You can well, guys, I tell you what, it. for me and Barry both, thank you, everyone. Wayne Brown, J.J. Reels, and, and, and Neil yeah, Markham Neil. for coming up here and helping us. We didn't know we didn't know when we started this thing if anybody did this, let alone help us out. So uh, it's, been, it's been great for us. 298 viewers tonight or listeners tonight. We've yeah. still got 12 on there listening now. We've had multitude of comments. Hey, listen. It's been great. I mean, the ball, ga the ball game's over and people are still interested in what we got to say. How crazy is that? Okay, guys, i tell you what to do. Let's, let's pack this up and go to the house. We'll see you all uh, next Friday night. Tuesday uh, night. Tuesday night. Tuesday junior night. High. Yeah, junior high with Avery Trace. And we'll probably be high top medley field on top yeah. of the press box again as long as they ain't a hurricane or a tornado ain't coming through yeah we'll be right exactly there right. or it's cold and then we've got another date friday night yeah. with uh with pickett county coming into the house avery trace is at home right yep it's, what, it's what home. time 6 30 so 5 30 jv 5 30 jv 5 30 we'll try to get set up and have bill there by five o'clock but uh so it's it, just just one jv game no it's it's both of them okay so, so we'll we'll have actually two that's the reason I said we had bonus. We had bonus coverage. So we'll do the JV and the and the varsity. And yeah, y'all have a good week and have a good weekend. And we'll we'll catch you next Tuesday at Medley Field in hey. Monterey, Tennessee. Thanks for listening, everybody. See y'all. At First Volunteer Bank, we're not just a community bank. We're a bank that's here for our community. We know our customers by name and treat them like family. And we're here to serve our community however we can. Whether it's teaching financial literacy in our local schools or collecting and donating thousands of canned food items each year to local food banks, we're a part of your community. If you're looking for a community banking relationship, we make it easy for you to switch because we're here to help you every step of the way right down to a local person on the other end of the phone to assist you when you need it. First Volunteer Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Call the Tree Guys today for all your tree cutting and trimming needs. They offer tree removal at the customer's request. They give senior discounts. They even have 24-hour service available. And they do jobs for insurance claims. They are fully licensed and insured with over 10 years experience. Just give the Tree Guys a call today. 931-267-6191. 931-267-6191.
The Thornton Agency is an independent insurance agency representing over 20 companies and are able to tailor the right plan to every need at the best possible rate. Their number one goal is to provide quality service. Their mission is to build long-lasting relationships, not just mere clients. They're located at 418 East Broad Street, Suite D1 in Cookville. Give Josh a call today at 931-252-4659. That's 931-252-4659. Neighbors Helping Neighbors, that's what the VEC Customer Share Fund accomplishes. Participating customers round up their monthly bill to the nearest dollar. The extra money goes into a shared fund that supports Monterey High School sports and academics, as well as other community projects throughout the VEC service area, making Monterey and surrounding communities even better places to live. Make your change count and sign up for the VEC Customer Share Program. If you're looking for an honest, dependable, and experienced shop to have your vehicle repaired, check out A1 Auto Repair just outside of Monterey on Highway 70. Bill, Tim, and Kurt have the knowledge and experience to handle almost any auto repair you may have. From wiper blades to major engine repair, they provide expert and reasonable solutions to keep your vehicle on the road. Go by and see them the next time your auto needs maintenance or you have a problem. Call them at 931-839-3013. That's 931-839-3013. One three, go cat. At Monterey Drugs, our focus is on you. You're not just a number, you're a neighbor. We'll get to know you so we can give you the personal service you deserve. Monterey Drugs, your hometown pharmacy. Proud sponsors of Monterey High School. Located on Elmore Street, right next door to the dollar store. Or just give them a call at 931-839-6777. 931-839-6777. We're wishing the best for Monterey High School sports and academics. IDK Cafe, located at 124 East Commercial Avenue in Monterey, are proud supporters of the Wildcats. Check out their Facebook page at IDK-CAFE for an up-to-date menu as well as daily specials with their newest menu item being the Wildcat Burger Combo. They're open Tuesday and Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., Thursday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Jenny and her staff would like to encourage every Monterey student to be the best they can be at academics as well as athletics. Go by and see them today at the corner of Chestnut and Commercial or give them a call at 9 931-584-0214. That's 931-584-0214. 